Hello and good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, a show where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors play D&D, Dungeons and Dragons, roll dice and uh, kill monsters, and sometimes maybe get killed themselves. I don't know. No, because <laughs> it's, it's fun to set the tone. It's fun. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining us, uh, old and new. Welcome to our chaos. Um, we have a few announcements to get through before we start tonight's game. Uh, first and foremost, those who haven't seen, uh, we've been putting up Spotify playlists uh, compiled by our uh, different uh, players here, and this week we had a Vex. Laura put up her playlist, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. If you want to say something about your playlist and cool stuff, I can look forward to. Just that it's the coolest. Um, no, that it's actually kind of weirdly personal to to put it together and put it up. It feels like you're kind of bearing your soul. So, it does. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my soul, and um, <laughs> and also song three, which is like everything. Um, that one might have made me cry a little. Right. Bit. Yeah. I just a little. may or may not have been thinking of the critters while I was picking that song as well. Just so you guys know. I'm so excited, I haven't heard yours yet. Are we on? Yeah, I was listening You're on. Hi, welcome, Sam. I, hey! Hi, Sam. Hey! Hi, Sam. You're so early tonight. I'm oh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a tie. We're at the beginning of the announcements. It's oh, great. great. I already uh, missed the mustache. We mustang. were talking about <laughs> I playlists. Oh, I gotta finish mine. Yeah, you're Thank almost you. done. I will say, uh, if those of you who have not gone and checked out any of the playlists, we have Vax and Percy up as well, definitely go do it because all that little extra content that we put out is always kind of like a litmus test to see if people are going to be interested in it. And if you guys go and actually visit the webpage in Geek and Sundry, then we get more content. Yay. So the more you go Make visit it, you guys, yeah. yeah, the more the more that we can show the people upstairs that people <laughs> do like our stuff and our content, the more you will get. So please go check it out if you have not yet. Here, it actually, helps. Do this with let's make it let's make a double rainbow gift for later. <laughs> uh, that's that beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that's on you, Cripple. That's on you, Internet. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, cool. That's awesome. Uh, next announcement uh, for those who haven't had a chance to see it, uh, a little over a year ago, I kickstarted a uh, web series with a bunch of other really talented people. Uh, Sean Becker, who is the director of the Guild, uh, directed it called Muzzled the Musical. Uh, it's Ashley Birch, a bunch of great, talented people from uh, the Lizzie Bennett Diaries and a bunch of other web space. Uh, Juliet Landau's in it. It's it's a great, fun uh, web series, and it went live last week, right before Halloween. So we have three our three episode arc is up on YouTube. If you like musicals and you like fun, silly, dark, kind of Dr. Horrible style performances, then uh, you're gonna like this. Check it out, see if you like it. Uh, let's see, oh wait, tomorrow, tomorrow is BlizzCon. Yes. BlizzCon for all you crazy guys who are going, or those who are watching on the uh, the, the digital online pass, uh, a bunch of us critters will be wandering the halls, doing panels and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, like for me personally, I'll be there tomorrow at 4.30. I think Liam, you're on that as well? Yeah, same panel. Yep, the World of Warcraft live panel. We'll be there doing that. Um, and then doing a signing afterward. Uh, what else you guys got going on at BlizzCon? I'm on th on three, so I think it's yeah, two you on are. Friday and one on Saturday. I, I tweeted out the times. Uh, I don't remember them now. Uh, so just go check my feed if you want. I'll see you there. Awesome. I'm going to have to do my job really quick and jump in on that and say that tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here, we'll be doing a live uh, trailer uh, watch and reveal with special guests. Laura and Travis are coming by. What? Uh, Allison Hayslip and Ify Nwadwe are going to be our hosts for that. And then we're going to have interviews with Duncan Jones, the director, and some of the cast and crew. It's going to be really cool, so tune in tomorrow at 4.30 for that. Thank you. And Thank then you. if you're if you're at if you're just uh, at BlizzCon, I think we're gonna be wandering around. Yes, I'll be bit. there. Yeah, I'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. Whatever. Yay! Probably watching his panels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rock that out. Cool. Um, see, also uh, tonight is Christmas, so for those Christmas! who want to oh, hang around, um, oh, we have a quite a quite a cavalcade of presents. Yes. There's a lot of presents. Talzin you guys. and I got here early and, and with Ryan we opened everything and it, it's it's an embarrassment of riches. So. They had to open it so to, that we wouldn't be opening the boxes. Yes. Tried not to peek. We haven't seen any. We haven't they didn't like it. Make sure there aren't like stuff I didn't see, some of the stuff like, Talzin didn't, didn't see, so we're not completely spoiled. We're a little spoiled. We got a little spoiled. I got a little spoiled early though. Oh yeah. Because, because of talk about that. Which oh, that. somebody said a new trinket. Look at what? that, you guys. Yeah. Giant, look at that. giant bear. Oh, look at him, he's just so cute. And 
please, I mean, when we thought it was a corpse at first when we got it, and then when we opened it, we got really excited and just, like, I had this, which I used to open it, and we just got really excited and took a bear out, and then it was a bear, and we forgot about all the wrappings and the paper. So if you sent us the bear, please contact Wait, us Wait, we don't now. know who what? sent it? No. No, we don't it know. It came from the woods. Beyond just that, we know nothing. contact us now. Oh, my God. You're watching. Somebody's watching or who knows that person, yep. so just let us know. You're I know I'm posted you're... in the chat room. Let them know. You're saying, oh that's my, my bear. Yeah. That's my bear. That is... Please, because I've been just hugging my bear. It was pretty amazing. When it was wrapped up, it looked like a body. Like we straight up, like season two Dexter. It was pretty fantastic to see it Which leads us to our next point. Please don't send us bodies. Please don't. No, no bodies. You can I, address it to me if you do. <laughs> He'll know what to do. I think if it had been the only package, <laughs> it would have been able to focus better, but there were about a hundred packages, so Jesus. it was hard to <laughs> You guys are ridiculous. We're opening ridiculous. stuff for now and a half. So uh, thanks in advance. Thanks. So thanks, Vince, for that. Um, also, you'll recognize a couple of uh, new songs tonight. We uh, had the wonderful pleasure of having Bethesda Approve us using Elder Scrolls music in our on-channel yeah. hey, playlist. So, so I've been able to go back and reincorporate all of my old <laughs> Elder Scrolls music that, so that I used when we actually originally played off-stream. So uh, that's really cool. So thank you, Bethesda. Thank you guys now very 10 much. Now more thank realistic. You. Critical yeah. role. Exactly. Yeah. Imagine that. So more really stoked about that. More authentic. Um, also, uh, just a reminder: the How do you want to do that? This shirts are up. Uh, I still have to go in for myself. I think I should. Uh, and we have the the critical role. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to see necklace them. and uh, awesome keychains, which I've not seen in person until tonight. And oh, I they're really cool. They're right nice. there. Uh, I, cool. yeah. I want them. Um, they're nice. So we'll pass them around. and We can each give it our blessing. Each individual one is blessed by me. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, not sorry. True. No. But you'll still roll well while wearing one. Um, so that's exciting. <coughs> and, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, do you want to do the quick form one thing? Okay. Reminder for yeah, Wormwood yeah, we're, 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 we are friends with Wormwood Gaming, and uh, you can still use the the uh, code crit roll to get free shipping on an order for your wood. Uh, it's beautiful <laughs> wood. I have some black wood, uh, but there's many different colors. Uh, I got this wood. They're really, really beautiful, and um, you know, just share share the nerd connections. Pretty everybody. sexy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those yeah. are these are the Kickstarter boxes, though. These are what's being. Done now. Are those for sale right now? Yeah, the uh, the Kickstarter boxes. boxes are not. Will the uh. crit roll code will not work for On these, these little ones? But, but they'll work for these bad mamma jammas right here. Which is really what you want. Bad yeah. mamma yeah. jamma. I think it's awesome that they, uh, they're actually uh, allowing yes. that. These are so. deck boxes too. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I think it's. They're, they're so. Pretty. Thank you, Wormwood, for being. Thank you, Wormwood, for being so awesome and putting that code together for our community. So that's really cool. I have one personal thing. Yes, yes, please. I have a pilot on Amazon Prime called Everstar where I play a little robot. Is that true? It's really uptight. Yeah, it's a pilot. Oh, did the Amazon pilots launch today? They all launched, and I'm in a cute like adventure cartoon. I directed one two boys, and and I'm up against bloody gritty live action dramas and political satire and other cartoons as well. Roger Craig Smith is playing Mouse Cookies. Uh, but if you like Everstar, which is this young action adventure space pirate story, give it a watch. If you like it, vote it through. If it gets voted through, I will continue to be a robot. Yay. Uh, I directed one too called Yo Yo Toki Happy Years. So that's on there too. How's that go again? Yo Yo Toki Happy Years. All right. Yo Yo Toki Happy Years. <laughs> it's, really, it's really weird and funny, and actually, it's really awesome. So really awesome. awesome. Also, Halo 5 is out this week. Which Laura and I are in. It's amazing. I'm not familiar with that. What is it's what is uh, it some game? Okay. It takes place in outer space. Like a match three, like a like bejeweled. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. kind of like. I can, I can, it's like I can, Candy Crush, but more than that. Like right? Crush. Aliens. That's, that's available on Android. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I yeah. guess the last announcement is they announced that The Witcher is coming to theaters in a couple years, and that has nothing to do with us, other than the fact that I'm probably going to be at full mast for the next week. <laughs> thinking of that possibility. <laughs> So, uh, Said so uh, casually. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. I'm so excited. Please don't fuck it up. <laughs> they will. It'll be Mark, no, Mark yeah. Wahlberg. No. 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 Uh, oh God. It'll be one Channing Tatum. Tatum. Will Ferrell. I will. <gasps> I'd be happy that now. I would not. Channing Tatum is Geralt of Rivia. No. Uh, Done. No. Let's make this happen. Don't, guys. I will stop this show. <laughs> Magic Mike. Magic Geralt. <laughs> Magic Geralt. Your DM is out. If uh, Jenny Tatum becomes Geralt, I will be uh, so furious. He's good. It'll he's probably sexy. happen. He's great at certain roles. I love I love them. 
I absolutely adored him in the uh, uh, Joe? Great. 20, uh, 21 Jump Street movies. Yes. He was great in that. Yeah, he's very funny. Uh, he's anyway, but yeah. he's I guess he's not show. coming on our show. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough. Enough of our silly talk. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the chaos that is oh, the current oh, circumstance. Oh, God, now, really? now, mind you, mind you, keep in mind, the culmination of leading into Halloween with this story arc and then now going and starting a rebellion in Whitestone on the 5th of November has been a very delightful, <laughs> unintentional coordination here. I almost wore my, I almost wore my special, but it felt too, it felt too weird. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, to get you guys kind of uh, up to speed with the circumstance that has happened, um, for those who are especially who are turning in for the first time, uh, a couple known as the, the Briarwoods that took over the uh, city of Whitestone five years before, violently murdering most of the family, the ruling family of Percy, other than himself escaping, uh, have been recently doing political uh, discussions with the home city of Amon to Vox Machina, our, our troop of uh, intrepid adventurers. Upon discovering this, uh, battled them at Iman, they fled to Whitestone, and the party has then gone after to seek to destroy them and free the town, the once home to Percival. Uh, in the process, uh, it appears that there have been a number of warnings set, and the entire town has been long, uh, long held under this, this dark, kind of uh, ominous rule that they've kept at bay. Apparently they found notes of previous failed rebellions, and things that die here don't seem to stay dead. A uh, number of zombified giants wandering the city as these these giant lurching sentinels, uh, and apparently a number of the cutthroats that helped the Briarwoods come to power in this town have now been given titles and land here, and they're called the New Nobles by the locals. Uh, during this process, you guys managed to sneak into the town, begin setting out word of coming rebellion, and that Percival Dorolo has returned, and the Briarwoods' time is numbered. Um, upon meeting uh, the previous chancellor to your father of the town, uh, Archibald, uh, you guys came to an understanding, and he was going to reach out to all of his uh, all of his contacts and let them know that the rebellion is happening. You guys then set out to set a two pronged attack against two of the remaining new nobles in the town. Uh, most of the party going to seek the outside of Count. Um, uh, what's it? Count Duke. Which one was it? You know, uh, well, Duke is... Uh, Count Duke. Down Duke. No, uh, Duke Vedmire was the one that Scanlan went to, uh, and then uh, Tyleri is the one that the rest of you wanted outside. Yes. Now, as the rain pours down into the city midday, uh, Scanlan decided to open from a, a polymorph spell <laughs> as a fly to the top of the front doorstep uh. of, uh, <laughs> of Vedmire's home. <laughs> Then proceeding to unpolymorph and then repolymorph himself into a triceratops. Yep. Uh, of which I have your statistics here for your oh, triceratops wow. form if you want to come get that. Go get um, them stats, boy. Which, uh, that's something stats. I had to do. Stats, 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 stats. That's your triceratops form. Uh, after becoming a triceratops, you squashed the front guard that was there, you slammed through the front of the building, destroying the front door, and uh, we cut to the other group, who was stealthing through the rain to the back, um, at which point the okay was given to Grog, whether intentionally or not. Grog then charged to the front door of uh, Tyleri's estate, and the rest to be prepared for impact. And that was where we left off in the center of this chaos. So. Let's do this! Oh god. Without further ado, Sam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just handed this. I know, take a look, take a look. Take your time. Sucks He's to got be the first. Maps. He's got the maps out already. Oh god. Get, get your shit together, man. I've never been a Triceratops before. That's not Method. Method. <sighs> all right, yes, you're right. Think like a Triceratops. So they didn't fix the air, all right. right? They didn't fix the air. I need... <laughs> I need shelter. <laughs> no, I don't know how to how do Triceratopses <laughs> think. Um, I'm like, like rock hippopotamus. 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 Punk rock. Oh, punk hippopotamus. We'll say, uh, say for the sake of this for now, we'll, we'll we'll go through your circumstance. Okay. As they are separate. So Scanlan, you are. As I did not have a Triceratops. But I did have a Stegosaurus. Exactly <laughs> <laughs> the same size, so. F or the, sorry, Blood Spike Behemoth. That's kind of racist. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, 
You know what? They're not around to argue. Species? Okay. <laughs> we species. are not around so, to argue. So, that you know of. Uh, we don't you're all get a the bunch same. of angry tweets from Sega sources and I'm sure. Uh, please bring them my way. Uh, <laughs> as you slam your way into the front of uh, of uh, Duke Vedmeyer's estate, <laughs> pieces of wood blasting outward, scattering oh. amongst the center of the foyer, you see before you a rising staircase that divides into two separate staircases that curl around to the oh, second level. Lovely um, decor. <laughs> you also notice, oh, shit. at first <laughs> notice, that oh, the uh, the entire interior is currently filled with guards. <gasps> all seemingly prepared and almost expecting your arrival. Um, at the top of the staircase, you see. I think I can see, take him, guys. <laughs> I think I can take him. <laughs> uh, you also see at the top uh, Duke Vedmeyer himself, a okay, large, uh, hairless, gray skinned Goliath wielding a giant two handed sword so armored okay. with a, a breastplate. Vedmeyer? Okay. He's a Goliath? Goliath, yeah. Vedmeyer's wow. Goliath? Wow, that's going to be fun later, but not right now. <laughs> uh, okay. Do I know? So let's assess my knowledge real quick. Yes. I know about him a little bit. He's one of the thugs that came into the city. Correct. He is not a magic wielder, uh, as far as I know. As far as you know, no. And at first glance, based on the fact that he's wearing a uh, heavy breastplate and is wielding a giant two-handed yeah. sword, you get the feeling he's probably not as heavily inclined towards the arcane arts as okay. others you've encountered. As I quickly survey the, the room, do I see anyone else who is a threat greater than a heavily armed guard. Anything that's like a creepy wizard or a, or a weird Currently old no. mage. Surely all you see <laughs> are a series of white stone guards in uniform armor, all with heavy crossbows okay. currently knocked. And as you come blasting through the door, they're already arranged in what appears to be uh, a waiting pattern should anything try and charge its way into so the they'll house. they'll probably all shoot me, won't they? In fact, <laughs> roll initiative. Um, so there's directly in front of me is a staircase going up. Yep. Any other doors or exits? Uh, there are doors on each side that are currently locked. Uh, and other than that, no. There's just those no. are locked doors. On uh, this? They're closed currently, and they appear to be. Uh, there's a giant wooden beam crossed over the front of each, and then there's the outside, which leads the exterior to the reigning outside of the household, and the stairs that go up. Oh, man. Roll initiative. Initiative. Don't I get a surprise round? Doesn't matter. Twenty one. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I don't get a surprise round because I sprung in there. Yeah, like apparently not. Damn it! You made a very loud noise when you turned into a triceratops and then tore through the front of the household. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, Scanlan is up first. I'm so. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I should probably leave. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yes. But come on, I'm a triceratops. I gotta have some fun first, right? You can take a couple hit points, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. I think you revert does back to normal. Does polymorph carry over, or is it? It's not. If, if it you go to zero like, hit points in animal form, you go back to your. You regular. go back to your regular full health, and any okay. damage that carries over just goes to That's your regular health. That's a lot of people. Get out. You have 115 hit points. You guys aren't there. Scanlan, what are you doing? Na, na, you have an issue. Na, 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 na. What are you doing? Uh, wait, it's my turn first? Yeah, yeah, you have initiative, man. I beat them with initiative? You did. Okay, they're more than my charging distance as a Triceratops. Uh, right? He's the only one that's within, technically, what's your speed? 40. 40? Uh, he, you would get right up to Vedmire if you were to charge. <laughs> I would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, it's a <laughs> What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, 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 I'm going to go, uh, how far away are those doors on the sides? Uh, over here, it's yeah. about 35 feet to get that way. I'm gonna turn right and blast through that door. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, Oh, well, we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I right. <laughs> the <laughs> it goes blasting through the doors. Oh, Do I have to roll to blast through the uh, door? We're gonna find it. Yeah, go ahead and roll a strength check. D20, add your strength modifier of the, of the Triceratops form. Okay, strength modifier says plus five, so that's only a seven, 17. 17? Just a door. door. That's gonna do it. That's... Uh, me and doors don't get along too well. 
you running and you slam your head through the uh, horns, protruding and tearing through the wood. The doors <laughs> break inward, but the doors don't fully oh, blast sh- inward. The door beat me! <laughs> the door's in bad shape. Um, the door's it, it won't take too much more power to blast through. Doors. The door's bloody in this kingdom. <laughs> it's, it's now your worst nemesis. So now door I wins. am stuck in a door? Uh, you can try and pull back out, and uh, it's not. It, you manage to pull out without an issue. The doors are mostly beaten inward. Uh, it'll take but a small impact to blast through next turn if you wanted to. Next turn. Do I still oh have a, an action after this? Or uh, that, that would have been your action. <gasps> you're great. You're else? great. You're money. You're good. Every single one of those guys can attack you now. Yeah, but it before it's your turn happen. again. Maybe they didn't see you. Run away. <laughs> It's not my turn anymore, right? That's it. That's your turn. Oh, no! Shit. My Triceratops ass is just sticking out. Just right there. Look, <laughs> they're, they're all dummies. They're just mannequins. They'll probably watch. Just watch. This guy moves up over the, over the railing with his heavy crossbow and aims this way. These guys all kind of shift to this side with their crossbows. This is uh, the most insane ready. thing. I'm going to die. Over here. <laughs> Over here, this guy's gonna move to this point. We can get a view of you, and uh, Bedmire's gonna go ahead and move down to here, uh, and just kind of get his sword at the ready, grinning. As he holds his sword up, he puts his hands up and goes, "Aim, fire!" Shit. A bunch of crossbow bolts get loosed at once through the middle of the room. Uh, what's your armor class? Is the tricep? I have no idea. Fourteen. Alrighty. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. a 11 that misses. See? Oh, good. That's good. Uh, that's a 13 uh, misses. Wow, these guys suck. <laughs> They're like stormtroopers. Uh, natural one. <laughs> they are! You, you're attacking me you're attacking my stormtroopers. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 14 hits. Okay. 18 hits. Uh, oh, that's a 24 hits. All right. And then, uh, I mean, that was six. That was six. Three hits. One, yeah. one more, that's a 22. So I have four, four that actually hit you with the crossbow bolts. You're fine. So. Yeah. You're fine. You're now a you porcupine triceratops. You're, you're, you're a dinosaur, Ooh, man. I have 115 hit points. Yeah, yeah and then and then when those go out, you're back to human hit points. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's, so that's extra bonus hit points. Dimension door that's, out. Uh, eight piercing yeah, damage. This is a gnome, racist. 13 piercing damage to 21. Are you immune yeah. to any kind uh, of damage? 25 just... and... 46. 34 points of piercing damage from oh. this volley. Is your resistance anything on there? No. Damn it. Nope. So what's that take me down to? 781? Is that right? 115 minus 34? 81? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. All right. Ain't nothing. Uh, that brings us to the top of the, the initiative round. Oh. You're up. Well, shit, then. I gotta, I gotta that. get some retribution. <laughs> totally. Turn around and give it to him. <laughs> Oh, am I considered flanked? You are not. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you do have a tail. Uh, I do have a tail. You're like a drunk guy at a craps table. I don't know how to hit things. I've never hit <laughs> things before. The door you it's mangled the in front tri- of you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, gore that guy to my left. He's above you on the railing. Like oh, there's a staircase. Oh, oh that's that goes a balcony. Up. I thought yeah. that was a stairway oh, down. Sorry, this is, a, this is a balcony up top. So he's actually aiming down and firing at you from down below. Oh yeah. Bye bye. And just go through the door. I'm going through the door. All right. Yeah, because I'm not tangling with. So uh, roll another strength check. Duke, 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 Hey, you guys! <laughs> so what you Just see in here is a, uh, have a social security, security number. <laughs> <laughs> As you blast through, it's a dining room with a central <laughs> dining room table, two small uh, tables at the far corners. There's a there's a, a, a ten foot window across the way. Um, it appears to be a normal dining room set. <laughs> is that my action? That's your movement. That's uh, my movement. I would, yeah, I'd say I'd say at this point it's so damaged that it doesn't take much effort for you to push through, so you can manage to push through as part of your movement. Okay. You could pick them off as they run through. I'm not helping. I'm not helping. I'm sorry. Nope, you guys nope. aren't there. No, I'm not there. Shutting up. I should get out of there. But it's so fun. What do you want to do, Scanner? Um, so, uh, so I'm in the room. No one's in there with me. Correct. Uh, You're yeah. Top. So, so where's this laser pointer? You can also hold your action. Just as an option. Yeah. Not to help, but you can hold your action. So, uh, so yeah. So, 
I'll just I'll ang I'll position myself right next to the door right there. Okay, so you'll just <laughs> stomp over, <laughs> step on yeah, part of the table, and destroying I'm just, it. I will hold my attack till anyone runs through the door. They get an instant an insta gore. Okay, good to know. <laughs> good to know. All right, so uh, holding that action, the next turn will be uh, Hidmeyer. Oh shit! Here he comes! Here he comes! It's me and the big guy. Hold, holds up there. He's gonna. He's gonna wait there. He's gonna actually gonna dash and just get it right next to where the doors are first open. He can kind of hear you right around the corner. <laughs> this these guys are gonna dash in. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! There. there. I think I can take him, guys. There. There. This guy. He's gonna just try and jump down. Oh my god. <laughs> See if he makes his acrobatics. Uh, he does not with his armor. He leaps off the edge and <laughs> like. I manages to damage his ankle and, oh, uh, and is currently prone on the ground. Yeah, yeah. You smell very good for yourself. <laughs> that is their turn. Uh, back at the top, are you still holding your action on your turn now? It's back to you. Okay, tell me this. Did I hear a bunch of footsteps? Can you I hear? heard a bunch of footsteps coming in, yeah. All right. I'm not, I'm not good at fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Can you set a blaze? I will drop. I don't have any fire. I don't know why I was sent into this mission. I don't do <laughs> fire things. Um, I will drop my form. Is that an action or is that just. You have a lantern. You can drop it in a moment. Don't you have a torch? Or a lantern? Or a lantern? Triceratops oh. shrinks down to gnomish form now in this partially destroyed dining room area. What are you doing? Um. I'm going to hold on. How oh, did this plan happen then? It's a great, it's a great <laughs> bunch of Why did you say That's I why. don't have fire? I mean, I guess I could have. Like, I said, "Hey, Scanlan, I should come with you," and you said, "Oh, uh, um, I could take care of myself." <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you guys? I don't need your help. The, uh, the echoing voice you hear in the back of your mind as you imagine this is what Keyleth would be saying right now. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> okay. What? Doritos a failure, you guys. No. Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, I I just kind of peek, peek around the corner a little bit, just okay. make sure they're all there, Yeah. and I will stinking cloud all of them. Okay. <laughs> all right. I didn't even mentioning Dory out of there. I gotta have no. some fun first. No. <laughs> How often am I gonna take on a whole like house it. by myself? I'm so I approve in love of with you right now. I approve of this plan. <laughs> All right, twenty foot radius sphere. I'd say you could affect. Uh, you could affect all, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all in this big old sticking cloud radius. Not a worry. This whole area fills up with gas. All right. All of a sudden, the entire foyer just fills up with this greenish noxious cloud of of poisonous oh. gas. <laughs> Um, let's see, they have to make a constitution save. Uh, okay, what's, what the, what's the DC? Is this through your hand cone? Uh, oh, for sure it is, so 19. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, nope. 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 Natural 20, he's fine. 19, he's fine. 18, nope. Nope. Double nope, because he's on the ground. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Ed Meyer rolls a one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, oh my god, this is this ridiculous. These two guys, these two guys immediately just kind of like <clears throat> cover their mouths and pull up these little bit of material they have around their, their chest plate armor to cover their mouth. The rest of them start hacking <coughs> up. One of them starts just vomiting all over the ground. He has a helmet on, so it's kind of like strained through its muscles. Yes! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vedmire himself kind of backs against the wall and just <coughs> trying to like just get it to leave the area, but it's just this thick cloud. It's slowly moving away. Um, yeah, they're they're in a bad place right now. Um, okay, and you still have movement. You, you only move five feet so far. Is so Stinking Cloud feet. methane based? <laughs> it is the way I do it. Uh, I can still move? Yeah, you only move five feet so far, so you still have 20 feet of movement. Blue okay, I'll do like a Dukes of Hazard over the table. All right. <laughs> Unnecessarily. 
Do <laughs> <laughs> to make an athletics check or anything for that? I'll make, do an acrobatics to see how cool it was. <laughs> how cool it was? Mm, acrobatics? Why? Yes. What do I do for that? Got a number. I know, but I don't do these I'm things. Order. 11. 11. You... <laughs> <laughs> it, you slide only because you partially destroyed it as a triceratops and to the other side, but in your head it looked pretty cool. Thank God none of your allies were around to actually witness it, but you heard the theme music. Okay, yeah. So I'm near the window now, right? Yeah, you're right by the window. Okay, and that's, I guess, everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your turn ends. Uh, Vedmire is just hot. Just, you can see his eyes are filling up with, with liquid, and he's uh, he does make his saving throw. Um, he coughs. <laughs> <laughs> manages to clear the air around him, and you see the cloud slowly moving back this way, away from where it was cast. Uh, that finishes his turn, however, he is, but he is no longer affected by the stinking cloud. And you can see as the, as the cloud slowly moves past him and his face comes Ooh. through, his, his pupilless, angry Goliath eyes are staring at you from across the, the hallway, or the, the, the room to where the doors are open. You see him grit his teeth and <laughs> you can hear his teeth scratching across themselves in anger and fury. I'm, uh, I'm shaking. Uh, these two guys. Now the rest of them are gonna go. These two guys are gonna move forward. Five, six. Uh, they both come running in, putting another new, another bolt into their crossbows, pulling it back real fast, pulling up their oh, heavy shit. crossbows oh, and firing at you. Uh, that is gonna be a twenty-four. That hits, of course it does. And a an eighteen. Uh, against what? Your AC. Oh yeah, that hits. Okay. Oh, no. So you take. Uh, 12 points of piercing damage from the first bolt, and uh, five points of piercing damage from the second. As both, both bolts, kind of, one hits you in the shoulder and, and ricochets off, not doing much damage. The other one slams and actually embeds itself into your thigh about an inch into it. It's kind of piercing and sticking out the other side. Uh, mostly caught armor, but you can feel it definitely got a chunk of flesh in the process. Oh, no. okay. That ends their turn. The rest of these guys now are going to try and make their saving throw. Uh, fail. <laughs> fail. Fail. No success on him, actually. He rolled a 19. A success on a natural 19. Fail. Fail. Uh, no, actually, he's, he's supposed to. So th these three succeed. The rest of them are still down. So I'll say these guys are here all down. Uh, no, he's, he's still up. He's towards the ground. Okay. Uh, so that ends their turn. You're up. I so want to get some payback, but I shouldn't, right? GTFO. <sighs> I think I can take these guys. God, you really are like a <laughs> drunk guy. This is a hell of a lightning bolt line right there. How big is that? Happy St. Patrick's every Day, turn. everybody. Uh, this one, it's it's about six feet across. Oh, and I can't lift that. Feet. What? No, it's a big oh, okay, long okay. table. Um, you just All have right. a very wide line of individuals right there. All, All right. right. Not you. Uh, one more round. What do you say, guys? You're, we're not here. Not here. Yeah, okay. You're talking One to more yourself right now. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, st uh, fuck. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, do, do, do I have a line of sight? The uh, uh, door's door right here, so you could. You can by the window. If you wanted to move over here, you'd have line of sight on pretty much everybody. Yeah, that would be so fun. I could move and then move back. <laughs> I'm only helping he, with he gameplay strategy. Me. I'm not. He gonna... could brain me. He could. He could brain me in one, in one shot. Okay, <clears throat> I will duck under the table. Okay. So they think that's where I went. Okay. And then dimension door to the roof. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you duck under the table. I'm gonna say make a deception roll to try and successfully faint them. Oh. Okay. And then you can see the top of his head behind the table. But from their direction, it's kind of okay. hard, especially since there are table. I mean, their chairs up against it, and part of it's been crushed by the triceratops that was previously here. <laughs> Oh, I'm going under the table. Sentences you never expect to hear in your D&D. 31. <laughs> so you we think grab your head, down. oh no! Do like a, a very elaborate dive under the table. Do I go under the land. table? Poof. A little strange dull thud of arc energy as you bamf up to the ceiling. Okay, great. Holy oh, shit. He's reaching under the table, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, what does this mean? Oh, like okay, okay. It. Yep, crack it out. I like on it. On top of here. Okay. All right, is that your turn? <coughs> You're now up on the rooftop. There's rain pouring down. You're immediately soaked from the heavy uh, storm that's now coming into Whitestone. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, it's just me up here? Just you up there, yeah. Okay. 
I'll go invisible and just kind of hang and just okay. see what happens. Easy enough to do because it'll take a round for anyone to recover from that anyway because you have to use action both turns. So as you're waiting up there, you cast invisibility on yourself and wait. Um, and then I start digging through my pockets if I have any flint or fire making apparatus at all. Uh, check your equipment. Do you? I will. I'll look. You have an adventurer's okay. kit? Nope. <laughs> I have some poison. Poison uh, the house. There you go. That'll work. <laughs> We are the best you, planners. <laughs> I know. You guys are rocking it. Oh wait, I do have something. Yeah, you do? You do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I have a potion of fire breath. You do. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 But it's so, raining up there. Well, but it's a potion. Yeah. I don't know how it works. You you you're checking your pockets, you find the potion, you look down, you notice <laughs> even through the storm, you can see uh, uh, in the in the distance there's the dark shape of a giant lumbering zombie guard making its way down this part of the town. What are you doing? Uh, uh, so I'm on the roof, it's all soaking wet, right? Yeah. There's no uh, uh, crawl space access, no attic I can get to. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, two. Two. <laughs> this is a pretty solid roof, with a, but apparently no entry point at any point. It's, it's The craftsmanship is flawless. Wow, what a good uh, roof. Uh, okay, um, and uh, uh, you know what? I'll just try it. I'll I will potion. I will fire breath potion myself. Okay, you pull up, <laughs> pull the cork off. I don't know what it, this thing does. I just got this. As you feel the 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 fluid find its way down your esophagus, it, it warms it like a fine whiskey would, but the warmth just grows and grows to the point where it's almost too hot, but it never quite reaches the point where it's painful. But you feel as if like. This need to belch is burbling within your stomach, and at any given point in time, you could let that belch fly forward. Okay, uh, and can am I close to the uh, so the entry point roof, the roof of the entry point? From yeah. Where you came in? How, how can it, can I get over there? Yeah, you just come running across the the rooftop. It's a little bit of a up and down as the the topography happens, and as you're running, you start hearing voices shouting out in the street. Um, you make your way <laughs> over to the top of the roof above. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of. Lean over the side and just scorch the whole front entrance as much as I can. Uh, okay. I as you <laughs> let the belch out, it comes out in a large spray of, of orange, yellow, and red flames that immediately burst uh, beneath the overhang, uh, which is By the kept, way, kept most... I'm also invisible, right? Uh, you are no longer, unfortunately. When you do an attack of some kind, oh, okay. the invisibility is. is Released. Oh, okay, great. Um, so this gnome appears, soaking wet, over the edge uh, of the roof, and then just releases this gout of fire that blankets the front of the building, catching flames on uh, all the portions of the front part of the second and parts of the first story, uh, including the top of the entryway that you had already smashed through as a triceratops, which exposed a lot of dried wood, yeah. uh, and immediately bursts into flame. As it as you complete uh, that breath and you kind of inhale for a second. Uh, you hear voices now starting to shout from the inside of the house. <laughs> you can't really make up the noises, but it sounds like there's panic now starting to hit from the inside, and you see a few guards start rushing out into the street to try and look at where the source of the flames came from. Okay. They both look up and see you. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, these are guards who are outside, yeah? These are guards who are inside the house that when as soon as the fire came shooting down and burned the house, they rush out, look up, grab their crossbows and aim them up towards you. It's just your hands and head are uh, That's a 17. <laughs> That hits. And a 13. Doesn't he have at least half cover from the roof? Uh, he does. Actually, that does not hit. 17 does not hit. Oh no, the 17 does, I mean, it would have. It would hit, except for, uh, that's a good point. You would have half cover from looking over the rooftop. You only have a little bit of your hands and your face showing. That's what we're here um, for. So both go <laughs> firing off into because the rain. Because I'm a gnome, do I always have half cover? <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's easier for you to find it. <laughs> it's a lot less to cover. Okay. Um, so both bolts just shoosh, streak past you into the sky. They angrily reach down and duck back inside the building with the rest of their movement to get out of the range of now what appears to be a flame-throwing gnome. <laughs> <laughs> so that's their go. What are you going to do? Do I know enough about this potion to know if it gives me any other breaths, or is that it? Uh, it does progressively give you a breath for a short time. <gasps> so I can, I can breathe again? Yeah, specifically. Oh no! You killed him! <laughs> that was the end of scan. It's the giant, it's the undead giant! <laughs> uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's amazing. <laughs> You're doing You're so doing well. Great. Not it's that we so ever great. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually at least have a 
Uh, you have three, three different exhales of this. It Ooh. lasts for an hour, or until you exhale three times. Okay. It's a bonus action to do it, so you could also like do something else and It's it. a bonus action? Yep. Okay, well then... It's um, a belch. Oh boy. I don't know if that house is cooked enough, man. I know, maybe you should just keep burning it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll run over to the back side of the house and do the same thing. Okay. So you run over, you... Uh, your full movement gets you about halfway across. Uh, at a dash, we'll get your other action to there, and you have your bonus action left over. You just managed to like slide across the roof, grab the edge, reach over, and <laughs> <laughs> just unleash on the opposite side. Uh, this yeah. side, because the angle the rain's coming at, this side is a, is getting a little bit of water, but there is still a number of dry wood exposed by the media overhang that it does manage to catch, and the flames are beginning to burn up and, and collect on the sides because it's superheated flame. Um, both sides of the house now appear to be on fire. Looking over your shoulder, you can see now there's a pillar of black smoke rising up yes! from the front of the building. Okay. You also do see on the opposite side a hatch <laughs> slam open, and you oh, see shit. a giant, meaty Goliath hand. Oh no! Shit! Oh! <laughs> now okay, stepping okay, out okay. into the rain, you see the the Goliath Duke Vedmeyer step up <laughs> with his two-handed sword. Oh shit! Good to uh, the girl. Lovely home you've got him. here! I'll shot him! So put you there. It's like Duel of the Fates. Oh god! <laughs> On a burning rooftop in the rain. This is so <laughs> Giant <laughs> Goliath gets up there. And a gnome <laughs> that breathes <laughs> fire. Play over here. Play a song, play All a right. song. Alright, it's your turn. Okay. How, how close is his hatch to the, to the edge? Uh, the hatch is actually halfway. It's like in the middle of the roof. It actually it's it's met from uh, was it the second story from one of the rooms or one of the closets. So uh, it's about twenty five feet from either the front or the back side. It's like right in the center of the house, We're close to it. Okay. What you got, Scanlan? What you got? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just seeing range here. It looks like a Frank Miller comic right now. <laughs> Scanlan so shutting down in the rain. Five times your spellcasting ability line. modifier. My spellcasting ability modifier is fl- Is that's charisma. It's charisma. It's charisma. It's five. Five times five. Twenty-five. That's twenty-five feet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Big B's hand. Uh, so I call forth Big B's hand, and I. <laughs> I call forth. I will force him off the roof. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's. Uh, That's awesome. The roof is wet. The roof yeah. is indeed wet. I'm aware. <laughs> oh, this would be interesting. I wanna fly away. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So you create the hand next to him, and as he's kind of <clears throat> start stepping forward towards you with his sword at the ready, there's a shimmer in the air as a giant, kind of vaguely purplish, arcane hand all of a sudden appears. He looks confused for a second and rears back to try and attack it. As the hand pulls back, woof, and goes rushing forward towards him. Uh, I want you to go ahead and make a strength check with the hand. Oh uh, shit, he's strong. Uh, the strength is plus eight, with, so add eight to this roll. 17 plus eight. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, natural one. Oh, of course! Yeah, I'm eating today! Oh my god! Of course. I'm gonna kill everyone in this motherfucking house! <laughs> I broke so many ones today, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we're just getting started. Oh, he's gonna oh. All right, if the hand over. pushes up five feet plus number of feet equal to five times spell casting on a fire, yeah. Okay. Please do it. Please oh, kill everybody. As straight. the hand just shoves himself. him, he goes pushed off to this side. The hand, he seems holding against it, but the hand eventually scoops him up and actually gets him off of his feet and like shot puts him <laughs> off the roof. He plummets backward, <laughs> off the side of the roof, and you wait a second here. <laughs> Across the way, uh, that's full damage there. Seven, 14. Okay, he takes uh, 34 points of falling damage and is knocked prone. You can't get this on down network there. television. <laughs> <laughs> so you're now standing alone on the rooftop, your big bee hand there next to you, Amazing. a little trickle of fire curling at the corner of your mouth from your final uh, dragon's breath when you decide to use it. Um, what are you gonna do? Oh, um, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Jit's burning. Burn the, burn the hatch and then get out. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Where am I close to the hatch? Yeah, you're about 25 feet from it. That's where you kind okay. of got it. I'll hoof it over there and okay, then over to the hatch, just, which is right uh, about there. Uh, I'll, yeah, look around and kind of punch myself in the gut. <laughs> 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 okay. As you reach over, you look down, and there is a ladder that leads up to the front, and there are two guards that are currently making their way up to the roof. Not they look enough. up and see you. <laughs> their, their eyes go wide within their helmets, and as you release the flames, all you see is their faces go. <laughs> <laughs> Engulfing the entire tunnel. Uh, roll uh, 4d6. 4d6? Yes. Here. I don't have any d6. Four and cube. Oh. There you go. They both failed their DC 13 dexterity saving throws because I can't roll tonight. 15. 15? Okay. They both take 15 points of fire damage and the entirety of that, uh, that space is now burst into flames. You pull back because the heat is intense. Uh, backdraft style, as you know, you're at the My top eyebrows of it. burn off. Uh, they don't burn off, but you feel they might be a little cinched. Okay. You have to give it a few days to recover. Um, and uh, you hear screaming down inside the tunnel, and both of them are currently dealing with the fact they're on fire. Um, so that's your movement. That's your bonus action. Uh, you still have an action. Okay, I gotta get the hell out of here, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, tell me this, dungeon master. Yes. Dimension door. Can it be used at higher levels? Uh, let me double check on that, actually. I don't know if it can, but we'll find out. Can you, Salt. can you Salt Bigby's right hand slam down onto the count? Or Mention the door now. Mention door cannot. Okay, how about polymorph? Uh, polymorph, nope. Salt. What do you mean? You used all your spell slots? You can use Jump. Bigby's hand to, to... Yeah, Bigby's hand is... I don't know if Bigby's hand can catch me. It's can not it, like Featherfall. Can feather it, like, carry you? Can you float? It can totally lift you. Can it, it can lift you. Touch you. Maybe it's like a slide. Maybe you can slide down Bigby's hand. You can you tilt it, right? Like a carpet. Like it, like a... You want to try? Like You're welcome to try. Yeah, see you really? Really? No, you've lifted people yeah, with you've it. you've lifted yourself people with it. it. I mean, ultimately, on foot sucks for him right now. We yeah, can, just surf but. on a giant floating hand. Come on, Bigby. Through the sky. Through the sky. Is what your friends uh, would say if they were there. Yeah. All you gotta do is get away for this to be amazing. <laughs> Otherwise, you burn alive. Otherwise, on the roof. it's tragic. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is live. Comically tragic. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. Does Unseen Servant have any mass? Not really, no. Damn, Unseen damn. Servant is like a, a barely there kind of small okay. level or, uh, air elemental. Okay. So, I, I, I'm just gonna. Do, do, do. <laughs> I'm jump oh, man in the rain. Yeah. I'm jump so I'm gonna jump off the Can I go away from the Goliath? <laughs> that would be this way, this way, or that way, because he fell off that side. So not not the two sides that are on fire and Where's not the, the side. Giant? So now the flames are now looking up both sides of the house. So you have to go this way. Where's, Where's the zombie stone giant? Okay. So it, it's it gonna take it a couple turns to get over there. Probably. Yeah, the full length of it. So the full dash will get you there and there, and you still have about a good twenty more feet to get. So that's your turn there. Okay. Um, uh, the two guards that were back that way are now no longer on fire. Uh, they have gotten to the roof and kind of put themselves out. They both look very, very angry at the current circumstance, and they step out of the hatch both places. For a different hatch or the same hatch? The same hatch. Hatch They're is still, on fire. Ha the hatch is still on fire. Oh. There's still flames, but they got out. <laughs> out in the rain now. The rain's putting out and dousing the flame that's on them. They both look over and see you running away. They pull their hand crossbows uh, at the ready. They're only ready to fire. Um, that's a 24. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, for the second guy, I, I, uh, no, I'll just take it. Okay. Okay, they, bo they both hit. I think 24 and 26. Uh, that is seven points of piercing damage and uh, 12 points of piercing damage. That's all 19 total. Great, got it. Alrighty. Both of them reach over and grab bolts out of their side and start preparing for another series of shots. Both kind of catch you in the side one, you so you can feel kind of a few inches into your shoulder and it's kind of making the joint stick and the pain starting to really just burn on that left side of your body, but you're okay. okay. Um, now it's your turn. Okay, I look back at them and I do that thing where you just kind of do this. <laughs> I, I, trust I, I trust fall off the back of it. Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> but I, I'm going to simultaneously make Bigby's hand try to catch me okay. at the bottom. All right, uh, go ahead and roll a d20 and uh, add your add your charisma modifier to it. Charisma? Yeah. Uh, that's 20. 20. Do you trust fall off? 
your eyes kind of somewhat closed and letting it happen. Come on, big me, catch me. And in the, <laughs> in the moment that you expect ground to meet you with a heavy, hard smack of reality, a soft cushion of arcane energy oh. catches you as these kind of uh, spiritual, you know, purplish fingers curl around and gently bring you to the ground. Oh. Hey, Max. Don't get handsy, big V. <laughs> Austin Powers. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, that's is that my turn? Uh, well, no, 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 that, that was just the fall, and you land there. He's way over this way. So you are you are outside of the house now. You're in a small alley between, uh, well, not alley. They actually are on the side of the house, and there's a big kind of grassy area around it, and there's the fence that surrounds the full I'm forest. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do I get an action or was no Big B's is a bonus action. Uh, Big B's you just uh, it's an action to use its ability. Um, so it was your action to kind of catch you as part of it. It's an action. To do anything with Bigby's hand specifically, uh, it says, yep. and as a bonus action on subsequent turns. What's oh, a bonus action? Oh nice. wait, no, that's for moving it. The bonus action is moving it. I yeah. Think. Okay. Move down. So you've been kind of you've been moving it along with you as you go. Yeah, so. but the act of catching me was the action. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So I'll just start running. Okay. So you start <laughs> running. My out little this way. tiny nubby my my tiny little nubby legs. Okay. <laughs> All right. As you, as you uh, run, uh, you get over to the front of the gate the, that is closed off. Uh, it's a little bit too tight for you to squeeze through. How do you plan to get over the gate? I'm planning to climb over the gate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing left. Uh, make an athletics, an ac athletic or acrobatics check to try and get over the gate. Whatever the better number is. Whatever the better athletics or acrobatics. This one's pretty terrible. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Is that acrobatics or athletics? That's. Athletics. Athletics. So you run, you jump up, ping, grab onto the metal bars and start just pulling yourself up, nice. get over the top, land on your feet, oh. and you're now right, Bastard. right near where the street is. And you can see to your uh, to your right, it's open, kind of towards the direction of where the rest of the party is. To the left, you can see now coming from the rain, maybe about 100 feet from you, giant hulking uh, zombie giant is kind of <gasps> stopping towards you. Uh, as you notice that, you see a number of figures come swarming out of the two buildings to the side of it. And immediately start attacking the zombie giant. Oh! Go, go, get out! Uh, go, 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 get out! Run away! Skip they're attacking the, the, the they're attacking the yes. zombie giant. That's good. You have inspired people. It's GTFO, working. man. It's working. Yeah, I'm, I'm useless to you guys. The rebellion. So uh, I do your life. Yeah, I'm gonna Kill go invisible and, and watch from the shadows. Okay, so you just cloak yourself and uh, and watch from the shadows up at the side. As you're there for a little bit, keeping your eye out for the next couple minutes, you can see. The house is now completely engulfed in flames. Uh, the rain tries it might. Uh, you know, the roof itself is not catching yet, but you can see now fire is licking out of every single window and glass is steadily breaking over time. The guards have all escaped out, and you can see the guards and Vedmire are now storming across the entire grounds. He's giving orders left and right, and they're all out searching for you in the nearby vicinity of the home. Oh. Um, Looking across the way, you can see the zombie giant is now currently like reaching down and swapping down. You can see get a closer view. Um, they look like some of the normal inhabitants here are wearing uh, makeshift armor, uh, weapons that they have, and they're now rising up and attempting to take down the zombie giant. You watch as it reaches out, it slams and smashes one to the ground, leaving them lifeless, while another two leap up on the back of the zombie giant and are stabbing it with spears, and you see it gives out this kind of roar. Uh, it's hard to tell from this distance which side is getting any ground, but and it is currently now held up by this group of about <coughs> ten individuals cool. that are attacking it at once. That's so cool. Yeah. Uh, you just gonna stay there and wait it out? I think I'll wait it out as if I'm in a in a relatively safe place because I can't really do anything for you you guys anyway. You're on your own. Okay. Okay. So uh, we'll use that to yeah. hop over to the other party. Oh, taking a short rest. Taking this. Oh, I'm taking a short rest. Yes. Oh, that's good. Yes. Short rest is about like a half an hour to forty minutes of waiting. So you might want to find a, a place that isn't quite so intense to do this. You can try and st sneak into one of the nearby homes and do it, maybe. Well, I'll, I still want to see where this giant thing goes. So I'm okay. Still so, watching. so you would not Just be able watching. to rest, unfortunately. It's not a very right. restful. Situation right no now problem. to gather yourself. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Whew, I live. I like that Scanlan took out an entire house, Dude, and we're all probably you were gonna fucking die. Rambo you're just then. Yeah. You, you were a, Scanlan Rambo. You're a legend. You are officially a legend. Do you have any red cloth you can tear off and tie around your forehead? Because you're. Uh, do yeah. this. Is, is your beret yeah. still on? Yes. <laughs> I never got a beret. Did uh, I get a beret? You did get a beret. I thought you Who got, got a beret. I wanted that a beret. That's standing. All yes. right. <laughs> <laughs> I approve of this greatly. <laughs> All righty. Uh, the rest of you guys 
witness me. We've all been slinking out the back. You just knocked a guard out. Uh, you're back with uh, Trinket. Came with you. Trinket went with Grog. Grog, yeah. right? That's right. Uh, you can do it, buddy. Percy, Vex, you guys are all back this way. Uh, the back of the building. You can see what looks to be a uh, one door to a back room. Let's do this. Um, Grog, so you come slamming up with the trinket behind you. Up to the front of the building, you see the front doors are there before you. Oh, they're in front of us? I'm yeah. already raging? Yeah. I just fucking bust through, ape okay. shit style. Okay, make a strength check. Okay. Can I ask you really fast? Yes. I never leveled up trinket's hit points when I leveled up. You didn't. Uh, all right. That's important at this moment. It, it is very important at this moment. <laughs> ah! Why do you have to do points? that, man? Trinket's hit points right now are what? 56. 56. Oh, Elder Scrolls music is pretty dope. Yeah. Bringing it home. I know. Four hit points. Four? Yeah. Alrighty. Zach adjusting the microphones. Nobody so knows. I got, Nobody knew. I got advantage. I got advantage on the strength know? check, so it was a, a 26. 26? Yes. You rush forward uh, with your foot. It's Sparta, the front of that door. It just cracks open. Um, you know, Trinket coming up behind you. The doors open. You can see now before you there is a single staircase that kind of curves up to a second floor of this foyer. Uh, there's, this, there's a large vase right at the base of it, right there. There's a couple tables by, and it goes to the right and left. Uh, do you enter the premises? Oh, no. Or are you staying right at the door? It's up to you. Oh, yeah, I'd go in. All right. Grog, you push your way in. Trinket falling behind you right there. Uh, immediately you see the upper banister. Uh, right over the railing, also similar to what Scanlan had encountered, has guards completely within this area at the ready. Crossbows pulled um, in wait. Uh, oh God, he just keeps adding them. And. Oh, just 12 more. Cool. And there, it's Tyleary. Um, all waiting, crossbows at the ready. The doors slam open, you guys rush in for a second. There's nothing immediately within your range, and you look up and see an entire array of guards all trained upon you and Trinket. A voice behind them goes, Loose! <laughs> um, at least Trinket's behind me. <laughs> So, uh, what's your what's your armor class? Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. You're gonna tell us when we can do something in the back, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this this is just he because of the speed of everything goes. He gets yeah. there before anybody. Yeah. Um. Just curious. No worries. All right. That is ooh. Uh, that is twenty-seven to hit. Yep. Oh. Uh, that is fifteen to hit. No. Nope. Third one. That is a uh, sixteen to hit. Nope. Uh, there's a 21 to hit. Yep. Uh, 26 to hit. Yes. Uh, it's a 22 to hit. Yep. That guy. Uh, All the shitty guards were over at the other 14 house. 14 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20 to hit. Yep. Then three more. Oh my god. Uh, it's a 22 to hit. Yep, that hits. 12 to hit. Nope. Last one. And uh, it's 10 to hit, yeah. So six. Six, six crossbow bolts come at you. Oh, shit. Uh, that's eight points of piercing damage. Okay. Don't don't have them yet. Buy them all up and then we'll have that. Okay. Problem. So eight plus 13, 21. Oh, he's doing plus eight again, 29. Uh, plus, uh, there's another nine. That's, uh, 38. 38. Plus another 11. 49. Uh, so 49, and then the 12. 60, no. 60. 61. Yes. So 61, so you think half that would be 31 points of piercing damage on you and one volley of okay. crossbow bolts at you. <laughs> um, you protect the tree. Um, yeah. And the rage did, did descend a little bit. The pain, because all these bolts are now sticking out of your chest. Like uh, this kind of front quilled porcupine. That's badass. Uh, you just take the pain and grin for a second. You have that, that irony taste of blood kind of reach the back of your throat from the immediate impact, and it just further intensifies your rage. 
Um, I'm going to have everyone here roll initiative because you're all acting simultaneously at this point. I know, I'm like, which ones, which ones? Nope, 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 nope. Not good. Alrighty. Uh, 25 to 20. Oh, did I roll for uh, Trinket too? Oh, he goes when I go. Trinket goes when you go. Okay. 23. 23, all right. You have backs at the top. Uh, we have uh, 20 to 15. 18. 17. All right. Uh, Thanks to the feral instinct. All right. Uh, 15 to 10. 10 to 5. Oh, shit. 5. What'd you get? I'm not there. I, oh, no, sorry. I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm at 26. I got distracted. Yeah. Distracted. Sorry. I have I have to be fair. I asked 25 to 20. 26. <laughs> no, that's my own fault. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm using my new cheat and I'm just. Confused. That's okay. So, yeah. All right. You're cheating? Cheat. New okay. sheet. I oh, leveled up, cheat. so I had to do what he does. Other way, guys, Rambo, both, both Scanlan and Percy leveled up uh, this last time. So. If only Rambo Scanlan was here. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. Alrighty. Alrighty. So we have at the top of the this combat round, Percy. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Is there, window, is there a way in? Is there or at a window? Are you getting a oh, FaceTime? Am I? Are you FaceTiming somebody? I better not be. <laughs> that, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> battle's still up. <laughs> so is, is there a way in at this point, or is that not? Uh, uh, there, there, there is a door right here at the back of the building that you can see, right? But the door is currently closed. Um, I'm running over the door and opening. I can hear the commotion from inside. And okay, you rush to the door. You're going to try it. The door is locked. I'm... <laughs> hold your turn, dude. You go straight. Holding my turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hold your action. I'm holding my action. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm uh, right. Next up is Vax. Yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, 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 unlock the door. All right, go ahead and you rush over. <laughs> Pull out your lock picks. Uh, so that's a 10, uh, 23. Oh. 23, okay. Yeah, rain's still pouring down, you have your hood up, you, you know, the water's dripping past your face, so you're trying to concentrate. You get the tools in. It's not a very complicated lock. <laughs> you push it open, leading you guys into the interior of what looks like a kitchen. Perception check. Uh, which is a 25. 25, as you look inside, uh, it, it's a cold kitchen, it hasn't been in use for a while, like okay. the fire's up, there's a little bit of a, like a, a slab in the corner where most of the preparations are done, there's a few cabinets that are up, it looks like it's, it's dark, there's no lantern. And what are the other doors? Uh, there is a door immediately to your left, and there's, yeah. across the way is an archway opening, there's no actual door there, it's just a, a, a walkway that leads into the next room. So it's open straight ahead? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna. Wa I haven't used any movement. Uh, if I go to the archway right across, right? Yep. Uh, I'm clicking my boots okay. as I walk forward. And can I? Do I perception check again at the arch, uh, or does the same one hold? As you glance through, you can see what appears to be. If I unlock the door and I've walked ten feet. Uh, there appears to be a hallway. There's a hallway that goes across the way. Uh, there's a door at the end of the hallway and two doors to the right and left of this hallway. All right, I'm going to juke to the left. I'm going to go to that door and try the knob. I'm going to see if it's... Right here? Nope, nope. The other door in the room I'm in. Oh, over there? Yeah. Over there, you try see, it. Yeah. It opens up. Perception! Opens up into uh, what appears to be a, uh, a storage room. room. Nothing. A series of barrels, small grain sacks in the far corner. It appears that the, most, of the, uh, most of the dry storage for the kitchen is kept in this All room. All right, so I look straight at Percival. I'm gonna go straight straight through the hallway and try the door on the left. Okay, we'll let you do that. You move I'm, in. I'd like to use the last of my movement just to stay, because uh, I got the boots on. I could stay. Uh, I've got a lot of movement left. I can you do stay actually. Ten feet behind him. Okay, so you stay behind him as you move in. Yeah. The door or this one here. Um. Yeah. Move the one to the right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That one. You slide that one open. It is a appears to be a bathtub in there as well as uh. It's it's a rather nice. Uh, powder room and uh, bathroom. There's no way to just quickly push the other door open, too. Uh, you can try, I'll say for this round, you can go ahead and open that, look inside for a second, go for this. Yeah. Really quick, check it back and forth. Uh, this one, uh, this door actually, it does not appear to open at a push. Okay, so. An eye signal. Uh, can I at this no, point? You've already, no, you've already. No, but we're on the first floor, right? Yes, you guys yeah. are on the base floor. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And they're all up on the second floor, right? All right, that's your go. So, 
Bringing us to Count Tyleri's turn. Now, uh, Tyleri, who's currently looking over the banister, he kind of steps forward here for a second. Uh, Grog, this works for you, because you look up and you see all the guards there. Tyleri walks up. It's kind of a uh, rotund-looking, slimy individual, uh, thinning hair, very pale skin, uh, a little bit of facial hair that uh, has never really seemed to grow fully in, but he tries to groom Grog's the best beard he can. is better than that. Oh, much better. Um, he's, he's wearing <laughs> fine clothing. He's got you know rings encrusting his fingers, um, and but he walks with like a deafness to the edge of this stairway and kind of looks it's over and says, "Interesting. I figured there'd be more of you." Interesting. There's a lot of dead men up there. <laughs> um, of which you see him leap up onto the ceiling, uh, stick to it, uh, and begin to scatter the, across. The, the one with the shitty beard? Yep. Tyleri? Yep. He's and Spider Man? He jumps up and so spider crawls across the, the ceiling and then drops down. A spell or something like that. Uh, yeah. Magic? He, with, with deft acrobatic feats, he leaps across, drops, and lands right in front of you. Uh, you can see now in his face, as slovenly as it is, there is a look of deathly hunger in his eyes and oh, no, he's a vampire. From under his That's a neat trick. Vampire. Uh, he is now going to make two melee attacks against you. Uh, that's an actual 20. Oh, come on. Uh, and then uh, the other one is going to be a 15. I don't think it's going to hit. No. So uh, he now has these long claws in his hand. The first one whoosh, it catches you off guard from just the sheer weird assault that he's brought to you. What's um, over here? <laughs> you take uh, 16 points of slashing damage from the first arc. He goes up with a second hand, and this time you pull out of the way. Uh, his Actually, his hand manages to knock some of the bolts free that were jamming your chest. Half to 16, right? Uh, half, correct. Okay, eight. Raging, so eight on that one. Okay. Uh, that's his go. It just kind of grins at you with this like hissing sound, licking his fanged lips. Uh, that ends his turn. That brings us to uh, Grog. You're up. I go into a frenzied rage and I use um, reckless attack oh. along with my great weapon master, and I turn that thing into a piece of goo. <laughs> with my hammer. Okay, Warhammer <laughs> burst into flames. Your eyes all of a sudden start going into an intense glare as you rear it up, go into your friend's raid, make sure attacks. Yeah. Do it. Advantage on them, that's nice. much better. Uh, that's 24. 24 hits in the first strike. The only advantage in the first attack. Oh, gotcha, okay. Just, oh, just the first one. Yeah, the first okay. one's a reckless strike. Uh, okay, 21. Hits as well. And 20. All three hit. Yes. 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 Ah. yes. Okay. This would be the minus five, right? Oh, because great weapon master would be minus five to each attack. No. All right. So the last one was fifteen. Yes. Uh -huh. Last one misses. Okay. But, but the, the other first two, two do hit. Oh, okay. that's good. That's good. That's good. Forgot that part. Know your rules, kid. <laughs> <laughs> then you added ten to whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Twenty-one for the first one. Twenty-one oh. points of damage. Ooh. And twenty for the second one. And the third one misses, right? It's with the fire, right? That's with the fire. Yeah. Throw misses. So 41 points of damage to him when the first two whack, whack, the impacts slamming into him. You can see his body get pushed back with each impact. He's still taking it and grinning at you, but he's also seemingly surprised by the ferocity of the of the strikes. Um, at the is that your turn? That's Are you gonna it. move? Uh, okay. no, I'm not gonna move. Okay. Uh, he's gonna use one of his legendary actions uh, to at the end of your turn reach out and attack you again. So that is gonna be a 23 to hit. Yep. Uh, he is, instead of attacking, he's going to grapple you. Okay. So his claw goes up and actually whoosh, reaches into your throat. You can feel the claws kind of digging into the flesh, and it's a very, very firm grip, and he has you right where he wants you. Um, that's, that's that action there. Uh, all right, that brings us to the guards. Hmm. The guards all reload their crossbow bolts, move in. Uh, these three now see the bear in the back, and they're going to fire on Trinket. These seven are all going to fire on Grog now that he's held there. So the three against Trinket. Uh, that's going to be a 16. Doesn't hit. Uh, that's going to be a 20. Hits. And a 22. Uh. All right, so Trinket takes six points of piercing damage. 
and 11 points of piercing damage. Total 17 points of damage to Trinket. A two bolt, one of them kind of just bounces off the armor. One actually sticks in Trinket, but it's not enough to really cause much of a worry. Yeah, he doesn't care. Um, the other, <laughs> seven against you, Grog. Uh, natural 20. Second uh, natural, natural 1. <laughs> uh, that's not going to hit, that's a natural 5. Uh, 18. Uh, misses. Natural 1. Uh, it's a 19 that hits. Total 19, uh, 19 naturally, yeah. so it's 27. Uh, one more, that's a, it's a 18 to hit. Uh, misses. Oh, these all have advantage on you, because you have this attack. Okay. So the one that would have missed is a natural 20. Nay! Uh, that does hit. Natural 20 again. What? So I'm, I'm rolling for all the ones that that, uh, that would have missed. Why do they have advantage on you? So, I have advantage on mine. Yeah. Reckless attack. That's reckless. So <laughs> it's, it's reckless. they all hit when you. Hits. Three of which are crits. Yay! Son of a bitch. Um, first crit is nineteen points of piercing damage. Okay. Merry Christmas. <laughs> We're all gonna die. The second crit is gonna be a nine points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, last one is gonna be another nine points of piercing damage. Uh, Seven have. Or we have we fifteen total with the crit. So the three crits are out of the way. Okay. Okay. Thirty seven. So, fifteen total. Fifteen total. Oh, fifteen on the last one, yeah. Okay. And so, those are the three crits. Three. So that's that's half of thirty three. Sixteen. Seven. Sixteen. Sixteen. 16. 16. There you go. So that's uh, that, and the next ones are eleven. Uh, another eleven. I'm gonna have to thin these ranks out quickly. Uh, ten. And seven. So you take another 39 points of piercing damage after that. Okay, I'm gonna use my stone's endurance. Okay. To get rid of that, that stank. So one of them, so yeah. 12 plus my constitution. Uh, 16. Okay, so we'll say you reduce one of the crits uh, from 16. The first one just doesn't have so. Uh, <laughs> take 15 points off that, because I think one of the crits was 15. We'll say okay. you use it on that one. Okay. Um, that's 39 points of piercing damage reduced by half. Uh, that'll put you at uh, eight, 18. 18, okay. Okay. So, it's like 18 points of pierce damage from those three, uh, four non crits. Okay. So, yeah. That ends the guard's volley. Uh, that brings us to. Vex, you're up. Me! Yes. And Trinket. And Trinket, both. Okay, so I run in after Percy and my brother. Okay. Um, and um, Trinket. Are you, are you, are you going to dash? Because you can move, you can double move using your action to move if you want. Oh, I can. Yeah. Um, what's sure? I'll go ahead. Of unless, him. unless you want to use your action to like yell out for Trinket to attack, in which case you can give Trinket a round of combat. Oh, I do want to give Trinket a round of combat. Okay. So yes. Um, and he gets a couple attacks if I don't attack at all, right? Correct. So that's good. Yep. <gasps> okay, Trinket gets, gets two attacks because of Bestial Fury. Correct. Here's your voice. Because he hears my voice, so he's gonna run around and he's gonna. Um, try to knock over the, um, he's gonna cannonball into the vampire guy. Okay, so he's gonna move this way and then cannonball forward? Yeah. Okay. Trinket moves off to the side, <laughs> gets a couple running starts and then rolls into a roly poly style forward. All right, so go ahead and make one attack against him. Okay. Okay. What do I add to that? Your attack bonus? Attack bonus for uh, Trinket. I don't know for your bear. AC, HP, bite attack, claw attack. Yeah, plus eight or plus eight? Plus eight. Yes, plus eight, just the Okay, 15? 15 does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, so Trinket rolls past, he dodges out of the way, gets an attack of opportunity on him because he wasn't hit as part of the attack. Uh, that's a 27 to hit. Trinket takes seven plus three, 10 points of slashing damage. Of course he does. As he streaks by. Uh, Seeing the bear coming at him too soon and managing to pull out of the way and use that to his advantage. I, I, I'm I'm going to be playing rule Nazi tonight. Is that is that attack of opportunity possible since he's grappling somebody or? Is that uh, still... Technically yes. Okay. Just so he's just grappling with one hand and then just docks out of the way, moves over and slashes him with the other hand. Trying everything I can to save no, this you bear. Can. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> Trinket. Then he comes out of cannonball and tries to um, bite the back of the vampire's neck. Okay, I'll let you do that because this is your full round to do that. Right. Usually it'd be like you choose to cannonball, 
or oh, do the two or attacks. I do my two attacks. But because you aren't part of this combat free, you're giving all of your round to him. I'll let you yeah. do it. Sure. Okay, thank you. So, Trinket comes out of the roll, turns around, <laughs> and strikes with a claw, swiping. He's trying to bite his neck. I'll bite him. Like okay. a vampire. So is the claw. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's yeah. good. Uh, 27. That hits. Okay. So. Split his head like a gourd. Uh, 11. 11 points of damage. As Trinket latches onto the back of his shoulder and pulls and tugs at him, trying to get, get him, him loose Grog. from Grog's grip. Not strong enough to do so, but Grog, but uh, nevertheless takes the damage and hisses back at the bear clutched onto his shoulder. Um, cool, that ends your turn. Keyleth, you're up. Okay, um, can I see the smoke from the fire rising up from what Scanlan did on the other house? Uh, at this point, make a perception check. It's a heavy storm. It's not great. Uh, 12. 12? Yeah. Currently, in the storm, he's not able to really make up too much of any visual distance right now. No, you do not know if there is any fire going on or any signal at this point. Okay. Um, shit. Can I run around? Are there any other windows along this back side of the, the house? Yep, through, there's a window there, window there, window through, there. Through oh, back, back here? Side. Uh, this side, there are no other windows. It is completely closed off. No other windows. No, there's just the one entry there that everyone else went in through. Shit. Uh. Hmm. Okay. I'll go inside. Okay. Hello, anyone in here? <laughs> Is there anything this direction? This way? Can we not get this way? Uh, no. th th this is a storage. Uh, Storage closet that was already checked by Maximal past him. Do we know if there are any outside doors over here on this side? You don't know. No one's moved all the way in to see, and it's not very well lit in there currently. Like, like, could I have gone around the edge here to see? Like, what do we have known going on this side? If there were no, because you guys approached from that side, and from what you saw, you just saw windows, but it was fairly dark. You saw a little bit of light moving through some of the windows on the on the uh, second story, but uh, nothing down here that really caught your attention. So, and we still have no way into this main room either yet. Uh, not yet. There's a door to the end of this hallway, but nobody's gotten to try it yet. Did you get to a second floor window? You can push past your party oh, and continue to move down the hallway if you want. Second huh? floor is better than first floor anyway. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm an asshole. I'm gonna... I you turn into an asshole. I turn into an asshole. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Were, were there any, like... Fuck. <laughs> um, what are you doing? I really don't want to have to blow in case I want to... Yeah, you know what? Okay, I didn't go inside. I'm outside... Mm. You came inside. Ah! Uh, Kill something. Not gonna retcon it. Dick. All right. I'm just saying. Um, you can't get halfway into it and decide. Wait, this didn't happen. Okay. <laughs> well, technically, Whoa. none of this happened. And hey, thank you for coming with me on that journey. Yeah. All right. Uh, <coughs> do it. Fine. I'll just see if this no fucking words. door is open. That's all I can do right now. The one across the way? Yeah. Okay. Sorry guys, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. You push past everyone, you move and you you push on the door, it opens up and reveals uh, a long dining room, a big, thick dining room table, a uh, double window across the way. Uh, this is the house's dining room. There are two double doors across the way that lead into, you think is the foyer in which Grog uh, and Trinket currently storm through and you could hear, muffled through the door in the distance, the sound of combat impact and people shouting to each other. Okay, I'm gonna cross can I cross over to that window and look out the front window? Can, like over the get, window over here? I'll say you can get that far, and you can just crest and look out the window if you want to. Do I see any fire from Scanlan? Uh, from this point, you've, you've already checked once. You, you're you just getting in there. You won't be able to really see from here. It's my turn. Okay. Uh, bring us to the top. Percy, you're up. Um, oh yeah, can I'm I gonna... call him? Can I? Scanlan! Scanlan! Uh, you, you make a little bit of a calling noise. Uh, you hear nothing back, you fear you might be just out of range for it. Son of a bitch. All right. I'm gonna make a run for the door. Okay. Uh, you can get there. Uh, you're just at the edge of it. You wanna try and like knock it open? Yeah, I'll try and, uh, is, is it open? Can I open the door or? Uh, you can try to, you reach out. It opens up and you can see now a light comes pouring through from the foyer and you can hear much louder now the sound of combat and grog chuckling and swings and impacts and sound you see a couple cross the bolts go poof and scatter across the ground. I and don't I would have to use my action to, to move to, to Correct, yeah. You know 
Yeah, you know, this is gonna be worthwhile. I'm gonna, I'm, well. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? I hate you. What you doing? Kill things. Shoot out the window. Shoot out the window? <sighs> Just act on the fly like Scanlan did. It turned oh, out well. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think proceed, do you turn think? Turn into a you tops. Okay, I'm gonna, be, <laughs> I'm gonna be helpful. I'm gonna burn my act, I'm gonna burn my action to, to get, into, okay. get into the room. Where do you wanna get on this side? Right there. Right there? I, yeah, I want to stand right there. Okay, so you just swing around to the inside. You can look up immediately. You see this this curved banister and a whole row of guards up top with cross, heavy crossbows. In the center, you can see uh, some blur as both uh, Grog, Trinket, and some individual are in the middle of this tussle. One of which the, the individual currently has Grog grasped by the throat. How crazy. Don't know if I can do Minor Illusion that way right now. So what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to call hex on that first on that first guard there. Which one right there? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna burn my uh, my action surge. And I'm gonna take three. I'm gonna start taking my shots, and I'm just gonna work my way up. Okay. So you swing around the corner. You look up at the one guard, and as you kind of concentrate for a second, bringing your gun up, your eye is gonna go black again. The smoke kind of pouring out from the corner of it. Smoke begins to pour out of the midsection of the guard. It looks confused for a second. It swirls around him as part of the hex that has him marked as you release your next three blasts. Okay, um, this is with Sharpshooter. Okay. Um, that sucks, uh, seven, uh, eight, ten. Uh, what's it, I'm sorry? Ten. Ten misses. First shot just goes wide, blasting a chunk out of the upstairs uh, hallway. Um, Eleven. Uh. Eleven also goes wide this time. <laughs> Blasting apart the banister in front, the guard kind of dodges out of the way as the wood splinters past him. Natural twenty. Yeah, that's yeah. better. That's the first we know. <laughs> okay, and that was also since that was the third shot, that was also a bonus shot. So that's got an extra. Okay, does that mean that does everything get doubled? All, all dice gets doubled, and then you add the modifier. Uh, not the modifier though. Uh, not the modifier. No. Modifier stays the same. Correct. Okay, so. That's roll twice or just double double my die? Uh, double the die. It's faster. Okay. So that's... Cocked. Cocked. I should have just used my... Uh, One device. I know. Yeah. I should have just used it. That's Nine, not bad, though. 13, uh, 26, uh, 26, uh, 26, 36. 42 points of damage. Woo! Yeah. 42 points of damage. And four of that was fire damage. And for that was fire damage, okay. Uh, as you look up, the first two shots fire, go wide, the third one just explodes, and in a burst of black smoke, the guard's head is no longer across his shoulder. Oh, oh shit. shit! Okay, so that, the, I move, I move the, the black cloud to the next guard. Okay, the he, also, he also gains a uh, disadvantage on all, um, let's make it uh, dexterity saving throws. Okay, or de ability checks. Ability yeah. checks, yeah, okay. so I'll dexterity. So the, the smoke pours off the body and coalesces around the next guard to his right. All right, that ends your turn. This is the end of my turn. <clears throat> That's uh, great. Vax. All right, I've got double speed. I go uh, right towards the table, make an acrobatics check to slide my ass across Are it. Are you doing that? Do some hazards, and land. Just do some hazards. Yeah. Uh, that is a, that's a 10. Uh, that's a 23. You did so much cool there. <laughs> I want to slide into a crouch right behind. I don't want to go that far right by Percy because I can't go much further, I don't think. A double movement? Would I be able to make it to Grog and uh, his friend? Uh, a few right there. If I can't make it to Grog, I want to stay at the door. If I can make it to Grog, I want to go to Grog. Uh, yeah, you can get next to him. I don't want to go next to him. I want to go. I'm going to go and eviscerate the bowels of the fucker who's fucking with him. Okay, he's so right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can get up there Sneak with attack, the movement. He's engaged with Grog. So Correct. As he slides over the table is... in front of me, I go. That was pretty awesome. All <laughs> uh, right. I didn't see him. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> more daggers. More uh, daggers. So. I'm alive. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. Wait. Rogue rolls, rogue rolls, rogue rolls, rogue rolls. What are you doing? Oh, I'm stabbing the guy three times. I'm doing my catchphrase, yeah, man. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Take a turn. Yeah. Oh, he's already taken a turn and come back. Okay. So the first, I'm going to use luck on that first attack and go again. Ooh, and I'll use the first one. So the first one was an eight plus uh, is nineteen on the first. Nineteen hits. All right. Second is uh, nineteen. Hits. 
third is 23. All three hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. Sneak attack on the first one. Mm. Alright, first one is, uh, I'm gonna use my d uh, flame tongue. Is uh, two plus uh, nine, and then here comes the juice. 9, 13, 17, 18, 20, 23, 25. That's the first one. And then second attack is three. This is the keen dagger. That's a 10. And the third attack, I don't know what the fuck that is. The uh, third attack is uh, the flame tongue again for uh, seven. Seven, okay, gotcha. A fire damage. So you, <laughs> you dart in a blur of, of darkness. You come swinging up. Uh, you can see Tyleri is currently grasping Grog. Out of the corner of his eye, just sees the movement, looks over curiously as the blade is immediately in his Bowels. side. Bowels. Gives it out breath. You can see it, like, the, the kind of jowl shake from the impact of the uh, of the dagger blow, and he looks down angrily at you. Fangs bared as the two other you know attacks hit his side. Yeah, I'm looking him right in the eyes. I do that too. As, at the end of your turn, he uses two of his legendary actions. Yeah. Um, I'm wearing my helmet, my shiny helmet. I know. To look at you, reach up with the throat that he's grasped and sink his fangs directly into your throat, Grog. Oh, I have a little collar. Does that help at all? Not in this moment. Oh. <laughs> you have a big neck. Very big neck. Yeah. Very tiny collar. Uh, <laughs> that'll be a 20 to hit. Yep. Alrighty. So, you take. Uh, Nine points of piercing damage. Is that halved? It is halved. Already? Yeah. Okay. This is, as, so, we'll say five round up. Sure. Uh, however, you do take. <laughs> okay. 14 points of necrotic damage. That is, not, that is not reduced. But your maximum hit points are now reduced by 14. Got it. Uh, as you feel that same similar cold feeling as the life's blood's being drained into your body, and you can see his eyes kind of cresting at you with this wild glare. Um, You're gonna that, get it. You're that ends your turn, Vax. Yeah. It is That's now his turn. Uh, Spider Man? Yeah. Spider -Man. Now it's taking his turn. It's not He's now going to go ahead and make another bite attack on you again. As he pulls back, he reaches his throat and grabs the other side of your throat, going for the other side of the jugular. It's a buffet. Uh, it's natural one, though. Oh! oh! Hey! <laughs> Oh, because you've got your uh, you've got your necklace on. Yeah, like it's, it's however exactly you necklace. however he does have advantage on you because you used reckless strike. Never still? use reckless first strike. Round. Doesn't yeah. it cancel out still? for one roll? Uh, it's like if you roll the one advantage on, right? versus disadvantage. It was in on the first roll, attack, right? right? Was it was a run on the first attack? Yeah. Yeah. It's until your next turn attacks. Uh, I thought his first bite was the first one. Uh, I'll double check. Wait, so all double attacks, check. even follow up attacks, get advantage, even though he only gets advantage on the first. Uh, one. I'll, re I'll read it for you right now. It's a cool ability. When you're not no, the only tank not. in the room. It is the worst ability it's I've ever heard ability of. If you're only a fighting one person. Yeah. Yeah, but attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. Oh no. Because he's out Wait, of it. Did you he's not going have... cuckoo. Jesus, never use that thing again. Well, I'm using it every time. <laughs> <laughs> so doing, so, doing so gives you advantage on melee weapon attack rolls using strength during this turn. So yes, I apologize. It does give you advantage on all your attacks. I misread that. Oh sh. Um, that's okay. Cooler, that's okay. Stuff happens. Give him a bonus. Okay. Let's rock. Like yeah, it's fine. Going something. forward, good to know. So it does give you advantage on all your attacks. Copy that. It's the the first attack is the one that confused me on the way it was worded. Sorry, folks. I know better now. Um, uh, but for that, I will say the one stands as as retribution for me. Yeah. Yes. So he goes to strike for the bite. Uh, this time, however, he does manage to catch the chain mail. Yes. That's Kevin and made you, and things get caught in the chain. Pulls away. Like making out uh, with braces. <laughs> rele releases you. Um, or no, it doesn't release you. Uh, as oh, holding you there is going to go ahead and make a claw strike across your face. <laughs> uh, two and oh, that'll be a ni nineteen. He does hit. Okay. You take. <laughs> Eight points of slashing damage, reduced to four, Okay. because of your rage. Uh, that ends his turn. Grog, you're up now. Uh, I need to, am I still grappled? You're still grappled, like yeah. to try and break the grapple. Okay, so you take your action to try and break the grapple. Fuck yes. So, athletics roll of? Uh, 22. Yeah, you <laughs> you just shove him off without a problem. Awesome. You still uh, have a bonus action to strike, if you like. Can I use my bonus action to try and grapple him back? Uh, not as a bonus action, unfortunately. Okay. It's an action to do that. Uh, no, 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 no. I, will, I will attack, yeah. Okay. Just one, right? Just one strike, yeah. Yeah, okay. Fuck yes, 21. Uh, 21 does it, yeah. So, and that is. Badass, 9, 17. 20, 22. 22 with the fire damage. Two damage, alright. 
whack! And you're watching, like, as, as he does all his actions, you see his body begin to reform and the wounds beginning to heal themselves Damn in it. the vampiric manner. Uh, but as soon as that wound begins to, to, to sew up, you take your hammer and boom, slam it into again, reopening, and you can see now, like, parts of his muscle are exposed. It's kind of deep purplish color, this very unnatural interior to his flesh. Um, Something's not right about it. You can see it burn and the flames kind of, you know, carterize the edges of the of the wound. Um, awesome. Is that finished turn? You want to move it all? Stay I'm staying. Uh, is Trinket still behind me? Trinket is Trinket. on his backside. Is, on, is currently on the on flanking the guy. Holding on to his. Him. Yeah, no, I'll stay. Okay. Uh, that brings us to the guards' turn. The guards. Oh boy. Uh, guards. They all reload their crossbows. These four are now going to make shots at you, Percy. Mm -hmm. uh, these three are going to take shots. Now all five of these guys are taking shots at Grog now. They're trying to, trying to take you down so they can move on to the next target. So four shots on you, Percy. Uh, that is... Mm, 20. That hits. Uh, 18. That hits. Uh, 20. That hits. And 11. That does not hit. Okay, so you take from three heavy crossbow bolts at you. Uh, seven, uh, 19, uh, 32 points of piercing damage. All three Damn. bolts kind of stick into your chest. They're big, long, thick, heavy crossbow bolts. Um, you know, one of them kind of just gleans off your shoulder and catches the edge of the wall, but the other two actually have sunken into your torso and are sticking out of you. Um, Fucking other five against you, Grog. Yep. Uh, since you did not, you do reckless strike last turn. They are not with advantage. Yay. Uh, so that is a uh, nineteen. Hits. Twelve. Misses. Uh, oh, that's a twenty-five. Hits. Uh, that is a nineteen. Uh, hits. Last one is a twenty-four. Yep. So four out of five. Yep. That's a eleven okay. plus seven. Uh, Eighteen. 18. Plus eight, 25, plus 26. 13. Okay. So 39. 39, half. 18. Okay. So 18 points of piercing damage again. You're now just bolts are sticking out of your body all over Everywhere. you. Like almost have almost have additional armor from the number of bolts that are on your body. Um, but you're still standing there, frothing at the mouth, angry, just like, come at me! Uh, then into the guard's turn, they're all reload their get bolts and pull their crossbows up. <laughs> Vex, you're up. Yay! Can I get up to the doorway? Tell me I can. Uh, with a dash you can, yeah. And, but I don't get any action then. Yeah, unfortunately, no. Damn it! So All right! Janet. Damn it, Janet! <laughs> All right, Trinket's just gonna, um, Trinket's gonna try to claw him. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Two attacks from Trinket. Yeah. Make it good. Come on, you're my favorite bear, Trinket. That hits him. <laughs> that definitely Do hits it. him. Should they? Um, so. That's 16 a, plus a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what this is? A natural 20! Oh, woo! Trinket got a natural 20. For the bear? Woo! On the crit All right, so okay, awesome. damage in the first strike. Um. That was a critical roar. No. Roar! <laughs> uh, 11, 11 for the first. And then. Um, so sour, it was sweet. <laughs> 3 plus 7 is 10 to oh, 20. Yeah. Now, which part doubles? Just the dice double? Uh, the dice doubles, yeah. Six plus seven. 13 for the second attack. So total 23 damage. All right. Uh, 24 damage. 24 damage. How does Trinket want to do this? Oh! Yeah! Oh, he just killed the vampire! Is this a first? Is this a first? This is a first. Is this a first? I think it's, I think it's Trinket's first kill. Trinket! Trinket! Claws crosswise and takes off his head with okay. a bite. Okay, so as Trinket reaches down, Arcing cross, both both claws across his back. Uh, Tillyri is dropped to, the, to his hands and knees. Looks up as Trinket then puts his jaws down oh. over the head. Oh. And rips up. Lifts up. As you see, uh, the flesh begin to tear on his body. He screams out in pain as the body turns to mist. Damn it! Oh. He's a vampire. Oh. But you Wait, know what? Is Trinket... the mist there? The mist there? What happened? The mist is there. Yeah. There's a clump of mist where he once was. Somebody light a match. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> All right, so uh, can he, is he, awesome. so the head disappears from his mouth, or did he yeah. still get? Uh, the he's chasing an house. No, there's still just like kind of thick, purplish, that, uh, congealed that, blood that, in his that. mouth. Uh, but the, but the vampire's form has been forced to mist at zero hit points. Um, all right, that brings us to Keyleth. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> seeing Vax go over oh, yeah. the table and being like, that was cool. I'm also going to be like, Hit. Acrobatics check. I'm gonna join the Dukes of Hazard tree. Acrobatics check. Damn it. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Uh, that's not a huge acrobatics. difficulty. <laughs> uh, 17. 17, yeah, you jump up, slide across, <laughs> land across. Take, uh, the bonus there is you, it, it takes only one block of movement, movement, one five foot movement to get across. Oh, I so should. That's five foot there. So I'm gonna come in. And I would I see him a, a headless dude with mist. No, you just him? you just see you see Grog, Vax, and, Tr- and Trinket in the center of this foyer with a big cloud of mist kind of near Trinket and Grog, and an entire ray of guards with heavy crossbows trained down on the three of them in this like am- ambush pit. Would you know what it was? Yeah, you would. We've learned about vampires. We know they turn into mist. Yeah, the vampires down by the tree did this. Yeah, they misted in. Sunlight. That Sunbeam. Shit. Someone could yell at me. To do Sunlight. It. I would say. I would say. Make an intelligence check. Hey. This one. Ooh, that's the intelligent dice. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, just with my modifier. Yeah. So that's. Do I wait? Is this a saving throw? No, no just just, my modifier. just roll. So Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Um, I'd say. Given the circumstance right now, just rushing in and just seeing mist there and people with things, you you have no idea that's a vampire. You have no reason to believe it's a vampire. You just know that right now there is... I'm just being honest here. You walk in the room and there's just a little bit of mist on the ground and there's a bunch of guards up there. It looks like there's a threat of a bunch of guards in the room. I didn't find it's a vampire. <laughs> you know it now. Krog, in the middle of a frenzied rage, would not <laughs> I, have I, that. I would have enough to point and God. say, Vamp- oh, for the love of God. Okay, Let's take your turn. Oh, man. What about a gimme? Yep. Take a turn. Sorry. Yeah. Stop giving what the DM grief. Fine. What are you doing? Kill well, something. I know what I want to do, but I can't do it without feeling guilty. I was going <laughs> to sunbeam this bitch. It it only makes sense. I'm just saying. Sure. What Kill makes sense? Else. That you wouldn't, that, that, that wouldn't, that you wouldn't know? know that, that that little bit of mist on the ground there is a vampire. There, there's no way that Keyleth would just know that it. based it on the way you were You just missed it. I would just see game. a black mist. It's just a mist. We got a ton of other people in the room, though. And there's, and there's black smoke around one of the guards up there. And something else. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's a crap well, ton of people there. If I there. saw a black mist, what I would probably do, realistically, is think it was like some sort of poison shit, and I would I would wind wall it. So I'm going to wind wall that mist. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this this actually could be pretty interesting. That's uh, what I would assume it yeah. was, no, but I no, might I'm be aiding this. it and like getting away. Sorry, what? Right. <laughs> All right. It's bullshit. <laughs> All right. So you put a wind wall up in this area. You can see the mist kind of dissipates for a second. It holds its place. However, this wind wall is now currently uh, held up in this area. Uh, that's your action. I, I'd kind of wind wall it to try and keep, like, like essentially do the wind wall. Like here? Yeah, around Grog. I'd want to protect. Right, like this I, area. Yeah, I'd want to protect him from okay. the crossbows. Okay. So then there's just wind rushing up around. Uh, you can see the tapestries and the walls are flickering around. And then I, I once again go, Skellen, Skellen. Uh, there's a little bit of crackling through. It's you're right. You're right at the cusp of the the, the distance on these communicators. Uh, so, Scanlon, you hear bits and pieces. At this point in time, right now, uh, you have. I'm you, on the you're, roof. You're hearing crackling in your ear, but you're still on the roof doing the chaos. So you haven't heard anything really coming through at this point. Doing the uh, chaos. You're gonna stay right there. I'm doing this thing. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> just falling off the roof. Yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm gonna kind of back in the corner and keep this wind wall up. Okay, it's no, concentrating no, on the wind wall. Uh, that brings us up to Percy. Um, I take my next shot at the next uh, at the next crossbow bugger. Go for it. Um, that's 15. 15, uh, just misses. God damn it. It hits the armor and psh, ricochets off. So am I kind of encapsulating the mist in my wind wall? I'm kind of trying to, kind of trapping the mist in? Uh, when you're, you have it, the wind wall itself is not a full, Circle. It's just kind of a semicircle. Like a half circle, yeah. But yeah. is it like stuck in the wall? It's currently overlapped with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two points. Uh, twenty-two hit. Yeah. Hits. Hit. Um, 
that's eighteen points of damage. Alrighty. I need your third attack. And my third attack also on him. Uh, he's also twenty-two. That hits as well. And that's oh, that sucks. Um, two points of ice damage plus um, eleven points of normal damage. Thirteen total. Okay, so. <clears throat> the last two blasts hit him. You can see he almost gets thrown off uh, his feet from the impact. Uh, he's there's now blood trickling out from under his helmet, from where one of the blasts got his chin, one into his chest, and he's still standing up barely. And he's kind of still confused by this smoke that's swirling around him. Uh, you gonna stay where you are? I'm going to just take a step forward. There. Okay. Uh, up the stairs. Up stairs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ominously stepping also, up the stairway. I like it. Okay. Busy. Uh, that brings us to Vax. Uh, right. So um, I am going to uh, start oh, rushing up the stairs. Before I do, I'm going to spank Grog as hard as I can on the ass and say "kill," and run up the stairs at the first guy who is enveloped in Percy smoke and right start there? stabbing him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's he's up above the banister. So you oh, there's have to no swing. balcony. Uh, no, no. The idea is the banister rides up, and there's a wall along it, and then yeah. along the, the second floor. Uh, he, they're all up on the second floor here, looking down at this. So, so there's no way up there. There, you could leap up, make an acrobatic check, leap up and over the banister. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's good. That's thirty. Yeah, you sh jump, grab it, flip over, land on the balcony next to the guy enveloped in smoke, uh, and then stab him to death. Go for it. Okay, so one. Uh, do I t did the did the uh, leaping take any of my actions? No. This one okay. Just part of your movement. So that's uh, 22. 22 hits. And a 16. And a uh, 1. So. So the first two hit. Yeah, okay. So the first one is uh, the uh, Flame Tongue Dagger. That is 4. Plus 6 is 10. And the second one is the King Dagger. And that is 2. Plus 7 is 9. All right. Uh, as you rush at the guy looking at you confused, the smoke swirling around him, you, the first two daggers stab, and the second one actually finds uh, between his ribs up to where his heart is, and you see him just gasp for a second <gasps> as he just crumples beneath your grip, and you kind of slide the blade yes. out as he crumples to the ground. That's the button. <laughs> the button <laughs> that, yeah. that, is, that is the dead button. Um, all right. That ends your turn. Uh, Tyleri is going to make... He's still alive. He's a, he's a, he's a mist. cloud. All right, the, mist. the mist pushes past. He's going to use second action. Uh, he, pushes, he pushes past the uh, wind wall? Oh, he's in the yeah. wind wall. But yeah. it says that figures caught in a gaseous form can't pass through the wind wall. In the part? spell. It does. I just read it. That's my motherfucking wind wall. Because <laughs> it's going to screw up my arrow, so I was checking. But yeah, it also says he can't. Creatures in gaseous form can't pass through it. Why would they even have a hypothetical for that? Because this, because of this, because right of things right okay. here, <laughs> this right. moment. It's coming All right. in here. I'll say, I'll say. Thanks, Mike Merles. Uh, however, as as part of that, then Trinket is also in the wind wall as well. Just as a note, so Trinket will be taking bludgeoning damage from being within it. Okay. So just just as a heads up. In fact, right now, make have Trinket make a strength saving throw. Sorry. It's okay. Hurricane or something? It's, it's, like a, it's a wind. It's a wall of wind. Um, eight. Okay, Trinket takes three d eight blood damage. Uh, oh. Go ahead and roll three d eight. Three d eight. Whoa. Yeah. I'll roll I thought you were capturing him inside. Promise. I didn't realize you had it actually on him, and so having the wind wall on him to prevent him from moving would also have Trinket in it. Yeah. It could be worse. Um, that's ten. six plus four, so ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So that makes me watching more. Yeah. I did. I definitely yeah. did. I didn't blow up. A okay. Good to know. Thank I you for that. that um, so Tyler cannot break through. Tyler stays there in the mist form, being caught in the, the whirlwind. Uh, Grog, you're up. I'm up. Yep. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> but I can't get through the. the I mean, I don't know what the fuck. You can get through the whirlwind. What am I gonna do to gas? Hit it. Uh, can I start running up the motherfucking stairs and jump up like Max Lee? He said to kill. All right, yeah. <laughs> Do I make a... You can get up to there, and you're just within reach to get one guy over the banister, probably. Yeah. I'd like to do that. Okay. Uh, that's a 23. That hits. Yay. Yeah. More taxes. 
Oh, how many attacks do I get? All of them. That, yeah, that was your, I that get was all of them. That's amazing. Barbarian, forty feet, crazy movement. Yay! Twenty-two. Yep. Shit. Twelve. Twelve does not hit. Okay. <laughs> First do it. <laughs> uh, Thirteen and uh, seventeen. For the first one. All right, 17 damage. And uh, seven, uh, uh, 15 and uh, 17 again, two plus two. Nice, all right, so whack! The, the hammer comes streaking down, slamming into the guard there. His crossbow shatters from the impact and the flames begin to lick on the front of his body. The second slam smacks him again. This time you hear the armor ring out from the metal on metal impact and he kind of shakes from it. The third time you're just in the middle of the series of swinging, he backs up and you just end up smashing the banister instead of him. The hammer cracking part of the ground on the second floor. Yeah. Um, he looks pretty messed up from that Bard series ass. of attacks. Um, all right, that ends your turn, Grog. It's now the guard's turn. Uh, Come at me, bro. This guard's gonna move over here. They're all kind of like, oh god. Um, these three here are going to attempt to fire on Trinket through the wind wall. These two are going to fire at you, Grog, and these three are these two are going to longsword you. They're both, they pull out their longswords. Uh, this one's going to turn with his crossbow and fire at you, Vax. Finally. So first is the attack at you with the crossbow. That is a 20. Oh yeah, that hits. You take, ooh, that's a 10. Uh, 13 <laughs> points of piercing damage. Oh. As the bolt strikes you right in the chest, kind of cracking your sternum a little bit. You're like, oh, that, that's gonna suck. You feel the scraping of the bone as it impacts. What the fuck? Uh, the two the long swords against you, Grog. Yep. Uh, that is 18. Misses. Uh, that is a 12. Misses! <laughs> uh, both of them, the blades come at you. One of them like actually hits your shoulder, but it just sticks an inch into the flesh. You just flex and the blade pops out. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. That, you just duck your head out of the way. It goes long. You okay. just, like, yeah. the anger. That's awesome. Uh, then uh, these two are going to fire crossbows at you, Grog. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 15. Misses. And uh, 23. Damn, I was almost Neo, just dodging all sorts of shit. <laughs> Number 10, 13 points of piercing damage. Half so, to seven? Uh, half that seven, yeah. And then now the three aiming at Trinket, they all have disadvantage, I they believe, right with the wind Nothing wall. can shoot through the wind Nothing wall. can shoot through it at all? Arrows can't go through it, it said. At all? Which she said begrudgingly. Fucking sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, it's gonna save a bear, right? After yeah. I punched and him also with the wind. Killed the bear. Is, <laughs> yeah, they automatically miss. They all three yeah, fire yeah. through. All, all bolts just <laughs> get scattered yeah, across the straight room. Straight up to the roof. It says. Wind wall. That's does awesome. the roof go? The wind wall go all the way up to the ceiling, or does it go certain to a certain uh, height? It's it is feet high. fifty feet long, fifteen feet high. So it doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. Okay. Uh, in fact, it, it gets just a little bit past the second floor. So uh, it's about the height of the guys on the second platform. Okay. Um, that ends their turn. Vex, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna tell Trinket to get out of the wind wall. Okay. The wind wall gets an attack of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna move. Okay. The front and door. he's gonna be very happy to see me come around the corner of that door. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Where I will see a bunch of dudes up high, and I want to try to do conjure barrage up and over the wind wall and over in an arc down arc on down everybody arc. on the other side of it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, the lob. It's like a whoo! Yeah, Half which bolt. at this short distance is not a lot of strength to get the lob. Um, I'm a really skilled <laughs> archer. I'm kind of like Legolas, I know but if how- if you're shooting up this way, like the wind wall itself only really encompasses the, oh, uh, really? the bottom of the foyer, so if you go up the stairs a little bit, you will be able to get these guys. Can I get up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah then fuck yeah. I'll do it and try to get everybody in that cone. Sorry, guys. Nope, make so it right. So it's gonna, yeah, you're gonna hit all, all, all of them. Ah, go for it. it. I'm a fan okay. of one dollar bills. I can take it. Okay, wait, I guess he has works. Da, 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 da. I just throw it in the air and it turns into a cone. Yep. So I don't have to attack? Uh, they, uh, they should have a, uh, a saving throw, I believe, right? Yeah, they have a dexterity saving throw. So everyone make a dexterity saving throw, or at least you two. Yeah. I have advantage. Uh, uh, I'm casting this as the I level. I don't have advantage with uh, One guy makes the saving throw. Uh, Fuck yeah. 25. 20! Yeah, wow. You, you all nice. succeed. Uh, so. One guy makes, uh, one of the villains makes it, they both make it. Okay. It's so half damage, right? What about all those guys up at the top? That's what I'm saying. Uh, this guy made it, these two didn't. What about the other ones? Are you doing the, uh, from this perspective? The, these will go through the wind wall. So the wind wall itself oh, really? will, will prevent it from getting either. This guy, this guy probably be hit, actually. Okay. Uh, he, he fails. Ha! So, yeah, so the, these guys are un, unaffected because the wind wall prevents the, the barrage from that point. 
So, it's good so I can't get like a critical hit on this because it doesn't have to roll. Okay, meh. Yeah. That's good. That's pretty good. 16? 16, yeah. 16? Okay. 16 damage? Yeah. All right, and so it's half that for saves, right? Yeah. All right, so eight damage, four damage. Uh, oh, uncanny dodge. Okay. Half damage. So what did you give me for damage? You had eight. Eight? That's full. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to um, Hunter's Mark. Uh, who looks the strongest? Me. The Not mist. Not you. I don't want to <laughs> Uh, I mean, they're all pretty standard. There's one dude over here that appears to be kind of commanding him. Yeah, I want to hit him. Okay, you hunters marked him. Yeah. Alrighty. He is hunters marked. All right. Alrighty. Uh, by the way, the guy that Grog had slammed, the barrage just riddles him with the arrows, and he kind of falls over <laughs> and, so, uh, and crumples to the ground. Uh, last bit of health that he had. Took away my playmate. <laughs> <laughs> Next is that's the end of your turn, Keyleth. You're up. Okay. Uh... So I'm gonna keep maintaining this wind wall and kind of wrap it up around the mist, kind of double enforce it. Okay. And I'm gonna scream, "What is this?" <laughs> I don't know. All right. And then what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you don't know. <laughs> it's a vampire. Ah. I'm putting my gun away anyway. I'll... Okay. Okay. Does that count? <laughs> it's a vampire. We just you killed know him. It is. Sort of. Be warned, treading thin ice with metagaming with your DM going forward. Oh, no. But yes, you have now heard I'm it from first. I'm metagaming. I'm legitimately fine. asking. I know. You got it. This counts. I know. This is fine. This counts. This is fine. You heard, you heard Percy say, Vampire! 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 Oh! <laughs> Great! <laughs> What's that charisma score again? The end. <laughs> where is, where is it? And we Fantastic. fade to black. Yep, right there. Drop Asteroid. your fucking wind wall so I can hit something. I'll... Drop the wind wall and cast sunbeam and just eyes flashing light just right in the concentrated beam where I have this mist there. Okay. And stuff. And stuff. And stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, that will be considered direct sunlight. Um, Cover your eyes. As, as you release the wind wall, the mist immediately begins to push its way this way out of the room. However, you catch it, your eyes glow, and as you release your hand forward, a blast of pure sun energy uh, shoots forth from your hands. You see it burning the back wall like a, like a big, thick laser. Just <laughs> and as the, the mist tries to escape, you catch up to it, and you hear this faint, echoing, screeching cry as the mist immediately <laughs> is evaporated yeah! on impact. <laughs> Can we loot a bit? You can fill a pocket with ash if you like. <laughs> Come on, look, some coins. Ding, 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 like Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not look, a good bus fare. Coins. Alrighty. That's my turn. Alrighty. Wait, uh, can you use your bonus action to wink at Matt to ask for forgiveness? I don't want to have to ask for forgiveness. Percy, you're up. What's, what's I can the... use my bonus action to heal somebody if someone wants it. Drink Actually, it. how about this? I used my bonus action to ask what the shit was this. There you go. Mm. Does that make you feel better? Sure. What's uh, what's the damage on my rapier again? Is it 1d10 plus? 1d8. Uh, 1d8 plus? It's a plus one rapier, so it's 1d8 yeah. plus your dexterity modifier, plus, plus one. one. So you plus seven for you. Okay. Uh, then, in that case, I'm going to uh, bring my hex up to the very next. Right there? Yep. And I'm going to put my gun away, walk up to him, and begin stabbing. All right. One, two, three, four, yeah, you five. Go. At that height, you're going to have to leap up onto the second floor to get oh, to him. Oh, that's right. He's still up on the. Yeah. On the, so I'm, gonna gonna not, I'm, I'm not going to pull mine, then I'm just going to. I'm going to walk up. Not quite that close, but. Okay, like, so there. Step back. Let's take my next Walk three up shots. the stairs. Go for it. Awesome. Um, that's 21. Hits. That's 23. Hits. I'm gonna stop there in case that kills him, so. Okay, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, that's, actually I had to reload anyway, so. So there you go, so find, your third attack that's is to reload. Three. It's re reload, attack, attack. Okay. So, uh, that's 16. 16, alrighty. Uh, 14. He is oh. blasted out of place. You can see there's a, there's a kind of gaping hole across where one of his lungs is, was located, and he kind of <gasps> crumbles to the ground into a pile. Okay, I've moved the mist to the next guy. Alrighty. Thanks, 
see if with. Uh, use a bonus action to recurse in the bottom line. I, I, I know, which is, I, I had a bonus action. That's right, you do. Yeah, so. I'll technically use the bonus action this turn to put it onto him from the last turn. Oh, did I? Yeah, that's, te- you're technically correct, so no, yeah, go you're ahead. You're probably gonna do it next turn anyway, so yeah, absolutely there, it's fine. Next turn. Um, but yeah, keep that in mind, as this is a new ability. <laughs> Who's in tight? Well, yeah. All right, Vax, you're up. Oh, well, is uh, that fellow who's enveloped in schmutz and right next to Grog? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna stab him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Three answers for everything. First one is uh, not that great. Is a fourteen. Fourteen misses. Second one is a twenty-seven. You are flanking him though. You have advantage on the attack. Oh, well, let's do that again then. Uh, that is the we'll call that a uh, twenty-seven instead. That hits. And then the second one is now a twenty, and the third one is a twenty-six. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Um, two, seven is nine for the keen dagger, and then for the uh, life stealing dagger. Uh, is a seven, and then back to the keen dagger. That is uh, an eleven. Don't you get sneak attack damage? Yeah. Oh right, yeah. I'll put that in. Thank you. It's yeah, so like, where's where's that? That's, that's, that's the whole point of this. Mm-hmm. All those? Eight, yeah. nine, oh ten, eleven, God. seventeen, nineteen. Oh, oh God! God. You, killed you killed Grog. 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 How'd you do this? Uh, yeah, he is. He is just. All the daggers just cut through this midsection, and you see where the armor plating itself was exposed from the first strike. The last one, you just jam up into his torso, I would taking also out like, any major organs. Like to boot him over the side. Uh, he falls over <laughs> down the stairs, kind of past you, Percy. You kind of let him tumble by as he slides to a stop I at the stop very him. bottom of the stairs. I put my foot down. on him to stop him. Okay, and Vex stops him in place, face <laughs> down. It's like the smear of his blood across the steps. Yeah. <laughs> his once nice fine wood is now completely sca- just coated in crimson. <laughs> Okay, um, Grog, you're up. Is it me? Yep. Are those all, all these, uh, is it just a row of guys in front of me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I would like to hold my turn. Oh. Because if I stand in front of him, nobody can do anything to him. You can. Nice of you. Kill him. How many is uh, left? Whoosh. No, I can I have five very... Nervous looking Smash them off the guards back. right now. We were trying to haul ass. And out. other rooms. Yeah. No, no, I'll hold to go whoever's next to go. So polite. That is really kind of gentlemanly. Gentleman. That ends your turn. It's now the guards' turn. Yeah. Oh. They're all gonna kill you. Uh, they all. <laughs> run away. We're gonna try and flee, aren't they? Are look to each other, and their one leader goes like, "Men, run!" They all. Rush and leap off the balcony. Oh, God, themselves there. See those acrobatic checks. Uh, it's 19, 17. I want them all to fall, please. Oh, one of them eat it. Make Holy eat it. Okay, uh, three of them land uh, fine and begin bolting forward. Two of them fall. One like, <laughs> breaks his ankle and falls to the ground, going ah. Another one slams into his hip on the ground and oh. falls prone. So oh, both shit. these guys are prone. Uh, these three are going to continue to move forward to there. They're going for a full dash. Does Drinky get so an attack, attack of opportunity against, against, on all of them? Against one of them. Oh. So they take a reaction for two. But they all rush out. Mm. That definitely hits him, though. All righty. 27. 27 Ooh. hits, good roll damage. Uh, 11. 11 points of damage. Cross that guy. Okay. Uh, Drinky reaches re- out and strikes across uh, one of the guys, uh, the guy you hunters marked. Who takes the claw across the side of his head and you hear him yell out in pain as he makes it out into the rain. Um, hurt but not taken down. Uh, it continues to run past and they all dart outside into the rainstorm. I'll take my turn now. <laughs> okay, Grog. I leap over the banister <laughs> with my whole hammer high and jump down on the guy that's closest to me. Right there? <laughs> okay, make it Bringing down. it down with a reckless attack and great weapon. <laughs> okay. Make make an athletics check for the jump. Okay. Oh no, don't fall on oh, your no, ass. No, oh, okay, that's true. Uh, 13. I'll give you advantage on this because you're raging and it's reckless and it's just fun. That's better! 24. 24, yeah, you <laughs> leap in the air. <laughs> like slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Down on top. Go ahead and roll three attacks on him. Amazing, that's 27. Uh, that's 26. All right, roll damage on those. Cause okay, that's not a problem. <laughs> probably, probably, yeah. Uh, that's 19, uh, 29 on the first one. 
Between nine and the first one? Okay. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> 28 of the second one. Oh. So as you come down, the hammer blow slams into his torso, his actual metal armor <laughs> clinks inward, and he goes, oh. gaps in pain, <laughs> as you've now jammed his own ribs wow, into his internal oh. organs. Oh. Yeah. You pull the hammer up <laughs> with a sludgy sucking sound. Oh. You see him look at you with this look of, no! Oh. And the hammer comes down again, this one's off his head, which so Gallagher awful. watermelon <laughs> across oh, the, the, the floor of this. Flaming watermelon. Done. Oh. You look over at his friend who's like, <gasps> trying to back up with this broken ankle with your third attack, who is within your range. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I don't need it. That's uh, a 27. Well, we'll, we'll manage just in case it's a critical. Oh. Oh, it's the same thing. It's 27. Okay, there you go. That hits. <laughs> Just, I know, I haven't critted it forever. See, even if you don't need the advantage, it's nice to roll a second time in case the chance of a natural 20. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's 20, 30. 30 points of damage <laughs> on him. Whack! This one you actually bring down onto his other leg. Uh, that leg Just snaps. On the, if he, is he on his back? He's, just... he's on his back and he's trying to pull away right from Right on the you. knee. On the knee? Yeah. Oh. Crack! It snaps underneath and he screams out in pain as the hammer pulls back. You can see where the bone is jutting out. Mm -hmm. You've actually taken off the lower half of his leg from the oh, sheer blood of the horse. Good. Uh, and he's now like bleeding out onto the ground a little bit. Not as much as he would be because the flame cauterized oh, the no. impact no, from the hammer. So um, uh, he is in so really, really detailed. bad place. <laughs> uh, alrighty, uh, Vex, you're up. He's Legolas. Oh. Well, I'm gonna, um, should I shoot the guys running away? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, are they are they close by? Are we uh, they're just out the, out the front of the doors. I'm gonna come down Don't and get in range. Don't forget to tell range. them about uh, Gilmore's glorious kids first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to advertise I'm gonna, <laughs> Gilmore's. I'm gonna Timing is everything. Lightning arrow. Uh, oh yeah, lightning arrow because everything within ten feet is oh, affected. Yeah. So. yeah, that'll hit all three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, so you pull out your arrow. You can kind of aim it closely. You can see the rain pouring down, and they're all running out into the storm. And there was. You're like, huh, storm. That's interesting. Uh, 27? 27? No, that's a lie. 19. Against the guy you've you've hunters marked? Yeah. Yeah, that'll that'll hit. And then get the rest of them. Yep. <laughs> Should that uh, they have to make a dexterity saving throw? Okay. Uh, the uh, this guy fails. What's the DC on it? Um. That's a good question. Uh, Beat the top of your spell. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Second guy fails. Guy's hunter is marked. Does succeed. Okay. So he takes half damage. Right? Okay. So he, I'm hitting him initially. So he takes two d8. They all take two d8. Uh, ten. What's this guy do? Seventeen. The nineteen plus hunter's mark on the first guy. So they all take nineteen, and then the extra guy takes an extra five. Okay. Okay, uh, the player. guy that, that Trinket swiped just screams Gah! as you can see like the electricity charging through him and the, the wet rain that hit him has caused it to even give more And then Trinket swiped the Hunter's Marked guy, though. Did he? He did. Okay. I remember you saying that. Uh, then uh, I'll give Back you that. Of the so, so the guy who's Hunter's Marked ends up <laughs> uh, destroyed. He's the, the electricity bouncing through his armor. He goes, Gah! falls to the ground and crumbles over. The other two guys get jolted and almost knocked off their feet. They're both looking really, really rough, and they both look at each other <gasps> and just keep running with the little strength they have left. Um, you still have a second attack, don't you? I do. Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh gosh. I guess I'm gonna shoot. Is the guy I'm on the ground? Shoot in the back. I'm no. I'm not gonna <laughs> shoot them in the back. Is the guy on the ground? He looks like he's in a lot of pain, he doesn't he? Oh, he's no he's leg. he's not going anywhere. I'm gonna put him out of his misery because he looks we like. We don't he's... want people running to report we're here. No, yeah, exactly. Oh, really? Them. So I yeah, should get, get the them. guys? Get, do, yeah. No, no witnesses. They might be vampires. Oh God. Okay, okay, vampires. okay. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I can't lightning arrow them again, though. No, it's bonus action to cast. So rock logic. I'll just regular old attack. And I yell out from the top, Vex, no survivors! All right, all right! <laughs> Next arrow knocked. Uh, that's a seven, 19 again. 19 hits. Go ahead and roll okay. damage. Uh, 13, 13. 13 points of damage. <laughs> that guy is to the back of the head. Yes. And I and just slide to the mud for a And I act feet. like I have another, I, I can attack him again. I say, stop! Intimidation check. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Natural twenty. Oh! It is. It is. What a hot. That's amazing. 
watching his friend fall and slide in the mud, he stops where he stands and looks over his shoulder, slowly turning around, shaking. And I say, get inside now. Okay. Um, next up is Keyleth. Are you going to do anything? Do I kill him or do we keep him? You don't have kill. to make that decision. Yeah, He's whatever. coming back inside? Or he, he's standing there He's currently now. standing about 10 feet outside in the rain, just. Is that a window I'm up against behind me? Uh, is that a actually, no, there is no window to the front here. It's, it's just a wall. I'm just gonna go, excuse me, excuse me, trinket. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and I'm just gonna peek around the door and go, and sunbeam him. Can you sunbeam? That guy, the okay. scared, shitless guy. She might be <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh, what level is Sunbeam? It's what I just did. Huh? What level is Sunbeam? Six. How many six, six level spells per day can you cast? Huh? How many six level spells? It's a concentration spell. Oh, that's right. You can do it for up to a minute. Yeah. Good call. Uh, like She's a lighthouse right yeah. now. It's a concentration that's spell. I can keep doing it for a minute. Yep. That's so freaking cool. All yeah, right. Yeah. Go. So, uh. I too? I constitution save. Yeah. Him. Oh, that's <laughs> no. That spell, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Two damage. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, uh, Sixteen. Uh, that's twenty. Oh, so many times. Plus uh, thirty damage. <laughs> Radiant damage. As, he, as he's sitting in the rain, shaking and looking at his friend and looking at you, Keyleth kind of just steps into frame and goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he, before he can go, wait, and there's just this scattering of ash that yes! was his body, his armor. Is left intact and just tumbles to the ground, and this pile of like you, know, you see Sorry. smoke sizzling off of the now heated armor. Uh, there's no sign of his physical body anymore. Just this smattering of now mud that the ash has now mixed with in the rain outside. Oof! <laughs> I'm prejudice. Okay. Uh, one guy left. Now, as you guys are all kind of gathering around, we'll say from a role playing standpoint, as there is no real immediate threat to you. There is one guard left who is currently. Uh, one broken ankle and one missing lower half of his left leg uh, on the ground, looking at you all, hyperventilating and trying to back away, like... <laughs> Tell him to call the Sandman. <laughs> Since I'm kind of outside in the threshold of the house, can I see where Scanlan might have lit up the other house yet? Uh, make a perception check. Do you have any questions? 17? Yeah. 17? Yeah. yeah. Uh... You can see a little bit of a dark screen in the distance. You can't tell if it's just like a like nearby chimney or if it is a symbol of Scanlan. Uh, the rainstorm does make it a little hard to see at this point. And through the adrenaline pumping in your system and the fact that you just disintegrated two individuals <laughs> in a short period of time, yeah. you're also kind of wrestling with the morality of that and, yeah. and dealing with the fact that you're what you just did. So your concentration doesn't really uh, okay. enable you to, to notice anything yet. Okay. Who's got questions for uh, Peg Leg over here? I do. I, st I hop down off the balcony okay. and walk up by Grub. I'm going to start exploring the upstairs. I stay standing outside, just staring out into the distance, waiting for Scanlan's cue. Okay. So as you, you head upstairs, cue. attack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which is what we were technically supposed to do. No, no, no. We said on the. We said we were waiting 30 seconds, and then. Terrible. Terrible. Greatest plan we've ever had. You were you know amazing. What? You were amazing. We killed. Like we killed them. It was great. It like worked clockwork. out. It worked out. It's fine. I hold my hammer over his other knee and I go, "Look, we can work on you one limb at a time, oh. or you can be very truthful, and my friend can end it all very, very quickly." <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> There's no question. This is a bad situation you're in right now. <laughs> We're not looking for you at all. I'm happy to uh, knock you out and leave you in a closet here and lock it. If you want to help me find the Briarwoods, I really want to know where the Briarwoods are. Not you. Just the people you work for. Looks around the rest of the group, sees you walk up the stairs. They're in the bloody castle. Where else would they be? In or under? Good question. I don't know, I don't know. They spent equal parts in both. Mm. As far as I don't know. I peek around my brother and go, Isn't there anyone else in the house? No. 
If you're lying, you'll pay. All of us were here. We were waiting for you. Got it. I go upstairs with Percy. That mist is probably following me around at this point, isn't it? Just the black smoke, you mean? Yeah, before it, it, since it's not. Oh yeah, the black smoke is kind of just slowly trailing behind you. It's kind of with each step you take, it kind of licks the back of your boots. Oh boy. Okay. Is there anything else you can tell me in regards to back doors? Or <laughs> secrets that your bosses don't want us to know. I mean, really, this is the time to talk right now. <laughs> Anything you use to identify each other? Uh, go ahead and make an intimidation check. With advantage, because he has. He's One like, leg? He's One bleeding leg. out right now. I thought no, he's not, he's not bleeding out, because he's bleeding, but it's a trickle because yeah. of the 21. 21. Uh, he kind of gives you a look at this. <laughs> We've all been, we've all been working for the Biowoods. They've, they mean well. They have big plans, I know that. I don't know the details of it, they don't tell us. But we're keeping guard on them. We were supposed to stop this insurrection. These, these people, we, uh, we rounded up folks. We, uh, we were given basic descriptions and we were, we hung people against the sun tree as a warning. We hoped it wouldn't come to any sort of conflict, that you would take that as a means that you weren't supposed to be here. But then, then we all saw what happened. It all happened to Sukarian in his house, and that meant that you were here, and that you meant business. So, Tyleri, Vedmaya, we, we waited for a signal, and we heard that you were planning an attack. So we, we set up guards here, we prepared, and sure enough, you showed up. So let us know that our contacts are good, and we thought that would be enough. We didn't realize you'd be walking in with whatever the fuck this thing is. Let me know what you are. And he looks like like he looks genuinely frightened at the fact that you, with all these bolts sticking out of your body, are still grinning above him. Nothing should have survived that ambush. Let's back this up a little bit. You hung people from the sun tree. Yeah, as a warning. Where I saw that child. I slit his throat. With a wet gurgle, the life expires from his body, a pool beginning to form on the tile below him. Nicely done, Bax. Piece of shit. So Percy and I are upstairs alone? Yes. Can I check his body? <laughs> you you begin, begin rummaging through the body. Uh, you're keeping an eye out, uh, making a perception check. I, I go upstairs and I get Percy up against Much a wall. Better. I turn Whoa. around and slam against a wall. Okay. Ooh, this is sexy. 27. <laughs> and I look him straight in the eye. And kiss him. <laughs> and I say. Stop encouraging. Are you alright? I think so. I'm. Look me in the eye, Percy. I feel. cruel. but in control. This is. controllable at the moment. Alright. I'm insight checking checking him. Go for it, roll insight. <sighs> shit, just shit. Ten. Ten? John Cena. Uh, give, uh give 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 me your uh what's your charisma modifier? My charisma modifier is two. Okay. Um he's hard to read right now. Uh, his his focus is is divided uh, amongst your intensity and trying to answer your question. There is this kind of, the pause in his throat isn't because he's thinking, it's because he grasps the words to describe it, but there is a quiver to it, and you can see his hands are still shaking a little bit. And as you look down at his hands, you also see the smoke is still kind of slowly swirling his ankle. I'm fine, for now. I'll let you know if, you'll know if I'm not. I will. Yes. I follow behind him closely. Let's okay. keep looking. Uh, you start seeing now the dark plume of smoke in the distance. <laughs> uh, Scanlan has apparently uh, effectively <laughs> set the signal. I'm um, try one more time. You also do notice, um, as you're looking out, other people have left their homes now and are stepping out of the 